Amazing Uncle Paulie pissed in his pants. Joey Boots tried to get my mother to flash her tits. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing a lot downstairs. My wife's just downstairs, just cutting everybody off. No, I'm it's not my cutting wife. anybody off. I'm babysitting. Hey, turn my wife is going crazy, as you can see. She's she's ready to have a 25-man a anal gangbang. Hi, this is Sal Gurfinelli. The very contrite Sal Gurfinelli. It's Sal funny Gurfinale. already. Oh. It's oh. funny already. It's Get John's Job, a fierce competition between nine applicants auditioning to fill the position of former Howard Stern staff member, Stuttering John. This week's applicant is Sal the Stockbroker. Today we're doing a game called To Tell the Tooth. You know, everybody always makes fun of Gary's teeth. What color is it? Is it gray? Is it green? Is it yellow? So I went to the uh, paint shop yesterday and I got paint swatches. So we're going to find out the authentic and official color of Gary's teeth. So here are the swatches here and we're going to match up the swatches to the picture. And you can see that these are really dark shades of yellow and green combined and they really, really, they seriously match Gary's teeth. It's that it's pretty sad and quite frankly it's pathetic but um, you know if you want to have your house colored a certain color you can have it you can now ask for the t same shade of Gary's teeth so this is called to tell the tooth and we want to see if Howard Robin and Fred and Artie can guess what color is the official color of Gary's teeth and that's it now you brought some people here today too yeah today uh, is the whack pack day I brought the whack pack um, the mentally challenged mobsters and uh, it's Tony Lotto and Uncle Paulie, which happens to be my dad and my uncle. And uh, they're in today and it should be a lot of fun. They told me to come down, they the want to interview us for a movie or something they, they want to put together. What's your name? My name is Anthony Governale. And who's this over here? My name is Portale. I come from Queens, New York. I come over here because I like to meet a Mr. Well, How was Stern? I see the time, and I'd like to see him again, <laughs> in presence. I'm going to take his hair out the back. <laughs> Wait, what is that? There, I got a long hair. I want to clap his hair, I want to do pom pom. <laughs> no, that's not true. You want to pump his hair? No, no, I don't want to pump his hair. <laughs> you should tease him. But you're, you're friends of Sal the Stockbroker. Oh, yeah. Now, you're, you're Sal's dad. Right. I am Sal's dad, right. And you're Sal's dad? Uh, Anglo. Uncle. Uncle. Yeah. Okay, so we got some family members of Sal. That's right? good. A lot of people hate Sal, the stockbroker. <laughs> you want to hear Sal? You, Sal, uh, you know, some people love him, some people hate him. All right. If Sal wants the job, let him box Gary. That's one idea. Here's one. I, I've been listening hey to your now. show since I was 12. I can honestly say that today's show is by far the funniest show I've heard. Sal's a tremendous radio talent. Oh. Hey, now. He produced an outstanding bit in addition to those several pieces. He isn't as good as Stirring John. He's better. Um... Do not let Sal get John's job. He's a loser. I swear I will stop listening if the show, uh, to the show if Sal is hired. I tell you, everybody hates everyone. As long as Tom hates Sal, he's going to have my vote. <laughs> uh, by the way, on HowardStern.com, you can see all the signs that Sal hung up around here yesterday. Oh, when he was harassing Tom? Yeah, he hung up all these signs. And um, I hope they show this on E. Sal the stockbroker made these really crude signs, like crudely made with magic marker. That yeah, he just took pieces of paper and just started writing. Yeah. And uh, Sal kind of hung up on the door where Tom works the de delay button. He, he hung up, uh, please stay out, Tom ruining show. <laughs> and Tom came out and started ripping him down oh, and yelling at Sal. Pissed. Yeah. You know what? I walked in this morning. Sal's the edit 24 hours a day. I don't know how Gary would ever be able to sit in the office with him for three months if he should win. Baba Booey. Because Sal was in there this morning, first thing, with a, you know, those those pieces of of little paper that they sell or have in the, the paint store that shows you different colors. Yeah. He had a bunch of white ones, and he was matching them to Gary's teeth. Well, that's what we're going to be doing today. <laughs> Baba he's always like, we're going to find the definitive Robert, color. If only they were white, I'd be happy. They were all yellow. <laughs> all right, Sal, the stock program, you're here struggling to get a job. You want John's job. Yeah, I thought you did a brilliant job yesterday. I did. 
Thank you very much. He's funny. He's wearing an I Love Tom t-shirt today. I love that. <laughs> trying to do the right thing. I'm trying to, you know, get along with everybody. Yeah, you know, I think that's a little sarcastic, that shirt. <laughs> Slightly facetious. Casey, what is it? Hey, Howard. Also... He's got this incredible beef with Marianne from Brooklyn. I got a phone call, and I'm, we're going to have it for tomorrow. All right, we're going to hear that tomorrow. But today you were asked to bring in your WAC pack members. Yeah. That's correct. People that we would perhaps think are crazy or something like that. Now, one of these people is your uncle? Uncle Paulie and my father, Tony. Tony Lotto, because he's addicted to the uh, lottery. And you l lied to your father about coming in here? Well, I, there could be a possible movie in the works. It might be a documentary. So What happened? Uh, nothing. I just said, hey, you know, I'd love to have you on the Howard Stern Show. You know, there could be a possible movie in the works, and I think that you that have... That was the lie. Oh, that was the lie. Yes. That and, he could be in a movie. Well, you call it a lie. And then you didn't tell him you're here to goof on him and, and make him a whack pack uh, member. No, no. That's good. It's hard, fellas. By the way, I saw some of the pictures with the shenanigans in the green room. Your uncle fell asleep, and you have people going up and mooning him, and you took pictures, <laughs> and we're going to put that up on the website. That's just, great. I don't think you should put the moon one up. <laughs> I'm, I already was warned by my dad on the side. All right, here is your dad and your uncle. You think they would be great additions to the show? I think my dad will stump the queer eye for the straight guy. I really do. There's my dad. Oh, my God. <laughs> my goodness. That's your dad. Yeah. He looks like hey. a bloated Ronnie. He does. He looks a little like Ronnie the limo driver. An interesting hairdo also. And there's uh, Uncle Paulie. Hey, Uncle Paulie. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you, Mr. Misha, what's your name? <laughs> Howard Stern. Howard Stern. It's a beautiful name. You know what I mean? Wow. You're looking at a million dollar in case, you know that? <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Hey. A nice, nice dress. Very photogenical. Thank you. Photogenical. Photogenical. Beautiful. Right. Now, Thank you. Thank you for coming over here. You know what I mean? Sal, your, your, your uncle is obviously uh, Italian. <laughs> Sicilian, <laughs> not Italian. You are Sicilian. a full-blooded Sicilian? Sicilian yeah, yeah. blood. 100%. So you're part black? <laughs> I'm, excuse me, you are part black. <laughs> Sicilians are no, no, part black. No, 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 no. You are not a little bit more history. No, no. Molignon. You're a Molignon. <laughs> <Let's laughs> no, no. Be close to Africa. I'm not, we're not black. I'm not prejudiced. Right. We're not close. We're not very close to Africa. One night we go where? We're not black. It's true See, that Africa invaded Italy. Blue eyes. Yeah. Blue eyes. Right. Beautiful people. It's strong too. Right. How well, everything. Yes. You know, uh, Paul is missing three of his fingers. Cause is when, that right? Yeah. Because when yeah. he was a teenager, yeah. he uh, found a cherry bomb without a fuse, and he decided to light it with a spark from a rock, and it blew his hand apart. Yeah. Wow. So you blew your fingers off? Yeah. Yeah, that's the meow. It's terrible. Now you guys are brothers, is that it? No, Uncle Paulie's my <laughs> father's best friend. They were altar boys growing up, but he's oh, Uncle Paulie. You gotta ask the all the people who know them. I tell you, I well, love Uncle Paulie. Let me Sal's dad. Are you proud of Sal, Dad? Are you? Oh, I'm very proud, proud of my son. Kirigetto, the best, my friend. You can't hear from Sal. Kirigetto, bella, cha cha. Do Paul, do it again, get a dance. Go. Kirigetto, kirigetto, get a Kirigetto, Paul. What do you do for a living? What I do for a living, everything. No, really. How do you make a, How do you make money? But I'm an original mechanic in a race car. So you're good with race cars. Yeah, I've been the the sickest year. Yeah. Uh, dad, uh, Sal's dad. You got the gold chains. You're very Italian. Very Italian. Do you? Uh, are you proud of Sal and all uh, of his accomplishments? Of course, I'm proud of Sal. Yeah. You were a good dad to the, Sal. The best. Yeah. You you held him in your arms. Oh, you were, in your arms. were you physical with Sal as a boy oh, growing up? Of course. Yeah. You of kissed course. him and hugged him. <laughs> No, you, you were physical the other way, Dad. Are you kidding? Did you have to beat Sal a lot? Yeah, I used to beat him up once in a while. All right. He needed it. What did he do wrong that uh, he you... He didn't want to go to school. He, he, he had his own uh, thing going. You know? lit, the, lit the shed on fire? <laughs> did he light the shed on fire? <laughs> yeah. He was a bad boy, Sal, growing bad up? Bad boy. They spread everybody in the face of body. You motherfucker. Oh, oh. my oh. God. I know. He's me too. <laughs> what is he talking about? I love this guy. <laughs> He's in a home Uncle run again. Put him on the Hollywood Square. Oh, yeah. Uncle Paulie. Uncle Paulie's great. Casey, get him making phony phone calls. Get him making phony phone calls. One more time. The Giddy Ghetto Dance invented by Uncle Paulie. Go, Giddy Ghetto. No, luckily. The slow motion. Right. Slow motion. Giddy Ghetto. You know what's about to meet Giddy Ghetto? No. Yes. Who said no? <laughs> Robin over there. Yeah. Robin, no, no. This is the one in Catholic priest. When they do the mess, they got a little boy, dress him up like, you know, like a the priest. The priest. Uh -huh. And they serve the mess. The right. priest likes the, the young boy. The time when I see Sal, 
the little one, that's a little devil for the Kirigetto because it's pretty much in the face. All right, look at you. <laughs> I'm going to sign you up to a full-time contract. You never have to there work. There is it. a movie. Howard, is he a whack packer? He is the best. Thank, Thank you. Man. Thank you, Howard. You're speak. better than Beetlejuice. Don't believe that. You're better. Oh, oh, do the get a ghetto dance. Let's go. Do it. One, two, three, four. Get a ghetto. 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 You a married man? What woman? No. You're not. <laughs> single. Single, yeah. Are you single? It's, it's divorce. Two divorces? Two divorces, yeah. why not? Two no. Women couldn't understand how great you were. <laughs> Where no, does no, he no. live? No, no, no. I got a beautiful woman. I'm in the top of the world. You got a girlfriend now? Howard. Uh, Who wanted to get a friend? Paul worked for my dad in his pizzeria. <laughs> yeah. And they would return the pizzas because he would forget to put the cheese on them. Right. That's right, baby. Hey, it's hard. It's hard work. It costs a lot of money, you know that? <laughs> so you, uh, have, when's the last time you had a woman? First time, but I don't got that private life. Actually. Private life, all right. I got this morning, who knows? Wow, Maybe. it's awesome. Oh, it's yeah. nice. Wow. Let's Where go to... He lives here in the United States, huh? Hard to believe. Thank you, so, yeah. <laughs> His whole life. <laughs> he was born here. Excuse me, are we China right now? Mm. Uh, hey, uh, Sean, you're on the air. You're on with uh, Uncle Paul. And... Hey, Uncle Paulie. Okay. Uncle yes. Paulie. What's your yes. question? You have a special license? Spe what kind of special license do you want? Special license for the, the, the cars, the fixed cars. The race cars. Especially, are you friends of ours? No, no. Oh, you are a mafia. Ah. You're friends of ours? Are you with the mafia? Who's the guys? Do you this have a special a license? Are you a made man? Sure, I got my special license. You got your special license? Yeah, sure. I can so prove you, it, you too. You've been doing specials. I can call you from that too, my friend. All right, I call you from Spamoni Gardens. Yeah, sure, baby. I have the Fachi Fachi do ya. <laughs> what about that? Uh, are you a made man? A lot of people. I'm not a made man. You are not. You are, <laughs> you do you know mob guys? You are very no, Italian. You never met the mob? What is the mob? I don't know what In means. Sicily, you never ran into anyone. In Sicily, no. the mafia. The black hair. No? The black hair. <laughs> Didn't you lose your fingers from the mob? They no, cut them off? No, no, no. no. Is there why? such a thing? Because we lose it. Because when we lose it, we lose one. Me and Mr. Tony. All we right. Like a, so little devil, man. Wow. We got a fire of work. We slip the bomb. Boom! <laughs> He lost something, he got a stretch in his arm. I lost the thing. And for six months, I got to come back and to my doctor. Hey, let's find out if you... Artie's always I saying... I can listen to him all day. Oh, like, him. basta chot. It's not basta chot. Give basta us some Italian words, Paul. Basta chot. Basta chot. Yeah. What is yeah, that? Basta chot, man. Basta chot. My mother is used to be making the best. Let's uh, see if Artie can uh, ask him a question in Italian. Oh, he can. I can't. I just, can. He doesn't mean... He's a phony he just, he just said, though, basta chot. That's how you say it. Basta chot. Basta chot. He said basta chot. I don't say basta chot. I say basta chot. Basta. That's what I say. He's a phony. Italian, Paul. Who's a fan Italian? Yeah, phony. Why are you Napolitano? I'm Napolitano. Hey, sure. You, you, you understand this, Sicilia. Alto Villa. <laughs> well, no, you have to have Villa. Alto Villa. And a stone man of Mangiata. Yeah, but I'm Mangiata. A stone man of Mangiata, Rogata. I'm Mangiata. A stone man of Mangiata, Gabados. Stone man of Gabados, the Gacaron. A stone of Gacaron. A stone of Gacaron. I feel like I'm in a Fellini movie. You know, you are you 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 Retarded mobsters. All right, listen, you guys, you're La terrific. Sal, you've hit another home run with Uncle Paulie yeah. and your dad. Tony Lotto, because my dad's addicted to Lotto. We yeah. almost lost our mortgage because of it. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Uncle Paulie, is it all right if we put the pictures on the web of the guys mooning you while you sleep? <laughs> 
<laughs> do anything you want. Who cares? You don't care. You don't care. This guy's a home run. We're going to have you back. Man, yes, all the time. Yeah. You can do anything you want. Thank you. You're the best. You're the And your dad's the best. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Stock. Sal, the stockbroker boys, thank you for coming by. That was great. Uncle Pauly. Arigato. 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 <laughs> what is it, Mike? <laughs> What's up? Hey now. Hey now, come on, Mike. Just say it quick. Come on now. You're I know. Man. Just say it. Get rid, get rid of that and let's go. What's your comment? Listen, listen. As far as I'm concerned, Sal's got a thousand, man. Uncle Paul's a home run. Uncle yep. Paulie's a home run. He is. He is. Tony <laughs> Lotto. All right. Tony Lotto. Bravo, bravo. 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 Bravissimo. 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 Fare tu sei da pezzi di merda su sfaccim, ragazzi ragazzi, sta a scuola. Oh, so, le mio, tango la patata a te. Faccio tutto Napoli. Mi faccio una testa, fino a che tu, che tu sei. Io ti saluto per il rifiuto. Abbondante, abbondante. Attenere. Abbondante. Ma sì, che ho parlato a sete. Che c'è lui? Guarda se ci metto un giavolo. All right, we'll be back right right after this. Hey, Uncle Foley. Hey, wait up, hold up. Come here, Tony Lotto. How you doing? How's it going? No, the location's here, you know what I mean? I'm a so, so, guys, are you upset that, that, hey, guys, are you upset that Sal lied to you about how to get you, why to get you down upset. here? Upset. No. That's no, normal, my friend. Don't think you're upset, though. <laughs> we love everyone who's trying to upset us. Because we want people to look at people like that. So how do you feel that you guys might be... I feel much the... better. My stomach is really empty, man. Nice. I really want to. But now that you guys are, might be new members of the WAC Pack, how do you guys oh, feel? Yeah, beautiful. I feel wonderful because we love Mr. Overstone and the old company over here. Very good. All right. Better you guys see the show and we see the show every week. Every and you guys, are you guys proud of Sal? Sure. Very <laughs> proud. Be. Number one is Sal. We love Sal. All right. Uncle Paul, can you, can you uh, take us out with the, 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 the dance again? Okay, you're going to finish out the week with the Fred game. Why not? All right, here we go. You're a brave man. I don't know if you know what it's like to do this. I'm pretty close to this now, too, so I'm a little worried. <laughs> I think we're going to even next week have to finish off with the... Robin, Artie, and Howard game. Yes, uh -oh. absolutely. we got to get to everybody. <laughs> well, uh, Vegas is next week, so we'll get a pass. I didn't yeah. wait a week. I'm glad that they started with Fred because he was so afraid to get to it. We all got a reprieve. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> all right, so here's how it works. Sal's going to read a statement. One of us made it about Fred. Yes. And I guess Fred has to guess who said, who said it, it, and then we'll play it. That's how it works. Sal, take over to your game. Statement number one. The most annoying thing about Fred is that he's not going to be able to take this very well. He's what I call the perfect example of what I call being able to give it but not take it. Hmm. Fred? You know, if John was still here, I would say that was John. But, uh... Fred can't take it! <laughs> <laughs> and yet he was the biggest baby of all time. Um, you know, I'll say KC. KC. Who's not here today. Right. No. I didn't see him in the hall. He didn't want to be a part of the Fred game. He's smart. He stayed away. See, we're all here. We'll get it. 9 11 all over. Right, you say KC. I'll it. say KC. The most annoying thing about Fred is that he's not going to be taking this very well. He's what I call the perfect example of being able to give it, but not take it. Save that statement for when we do Robin. Yeah, right. <laughs> that will be my statement. I was thinking the same thing. I'm borrowing that. That's a mirror. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's number one. You got that one wrong, Fred. Now, no matter what happens, Sal, you're doing a terrific job. Yeah, so, so far, no bloodshed. <laughs> yeah, let him save that before he starts to bleed. <laughs> before, before he hates you. Before exactly. I punch you. And Sal, did you uh, offer a statement or no? On no, this? I didn't. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Smart man. Of course. Yeah, really. Fred holds a grudge. <laughs> you don't say. The most annoying thing about Fred is that he's so perfect. There's nothing to complain about. Oh, please. You know what? Who said Shame that? Shame on that person. Exactly. Artie. And I know it's got to be you know, Artie. I'll, Artie. I'll, say, I'll say the person. Artie, F you, dude. Uh, ass kissing wait, phony wait. Not Italian. me. Not me, dirtbags. I, I say <laughs> someone who was afraid to be punched, and that would be Howard. <laughs> no way. Did uh, you say that, did Howard? You, uh, Howard? Let's find out. Jeez.
The most annoying thing about Fred oh. is that he's so perfect, wow. there's nothing to complain yeah. about. You know what? I forgot about Scott. Yeah, the most annoying thing about Scott the Engineer is nobody ever thinks of him for I'm the game. Off. Who are the people in this? Scott uh, the Engineer. So Gary, Howard, Casey, and Benji. And Artie. And, and Artie. Artie. Hey, guys, how about an apology? That All was right. terrible. But Artie, you, you do Artie. have a tendency to what tend shy look, away. Look, let me tell you something. I'm not a confrontational guy, but I... I, I, I you stepped play. up? Look, I always give it up in these games. Who admitted he cried at a Michael Jackson concert? <laughs> All right, next, next statement. Artie needs some backbone. Oh, uh, shut up, Without Sal. barbecue sauce on it. Just shut up and go back to whatever you do. Don't choke on a Zeppeli. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Give when, Uncle Paulie the job. When Fred is busting your chops on the air sometimes, he's so unbelievably relentless that you get the idea that he genuinely hates your guts. I know who said that. Benji. That could be everybody. Uh, Fred? <laughs> I think Benji. I'll, I'll say Benji. Yeah, I'll say Benji, too. <laughs> when Fred is oh, busting your chops oh. on the air, Sometimes he's so unbelievably relentless that you get the idea that he genuinely hates your guts. <laughs> Has he busted your balls on the air? Okay, now, Fred is usually very nice to me. Early on, there was a couple of times where... Uh, I was taking a little bit of a beating as the new guy. Uh -huh. You guys were making fun of me about stuff. And, you know, Fred was, like, brutal to me on the air. Which really? Was, and it was all funny. Right. But then afterwards, he's a really nice guy. But the example I point out, which was just, like, extraordinary, <laughs> like, death, is Julie Bowen, the star of Ed. Yes. If you remember that. Right. <laughs> He went off on her in a way where I thought she was going to commit suicide. <laughs> and, and, Dude, and, he didn't like her. Uh, Don't think that's an act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but no, well, you know, and the other thing is, well, the other thing I'll point to as a fan of the show, haven't heard over the years, is the supermodel stuff with Carol Alt. No. Listening to that on the radio, you, you, you He's got, very angry. I mean, man, yeah. so. Oh, he means every word of oh, it, yeah. I but, think. Point, I've got a point of view, and I'm not afraid to explain. Yeah, no, that's true. He's usually nice to me, but there was one time where I, I would have like, bet that was Benji uh, being <laughs> I would too, yeah. Hey, Fred. When uh, when um, Artie first replaced Jackie, the first couple of months, you were real quiet. Were, was there any hostility there? I mean, absolutely did... not. Okay. I, no, I never felt 100%. that. One hundred percent. No, he was still hostile to I think, Jackie. And you know what's I funny? I think Fred was, was like, the happiest that Jackie was gone. <laughs> really? Yeah, I be, I'll be tr perfectly honest. Yeah, you were. You know what he is? He's he's got all of the humor Jackie ever had, except he's not this pissed off troll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Fred. Yeah, Fred uh, t says it like it is. Yeah. No, Artie's yeah. a great guy. Uh, thank you. All right. I'm not arguing with Fred. C can I do a, a, anything I say? Can I take back at this point? <laughs> well, I, I don't want to be in the I contest. I can't wait. Dude, oh. It's always about you, Howard. Always right. About always you. about me. Go ahead. Fred tends to take you through his thought processes, which can be kind of wordy at times. That would be Gary. Especially when you're in a rush and on top of it, Fred wears a lot of these belly shirts and he exposes his belly sometimes. Oh, that's a good one. That's true. Whoa. Which I find offensive. Dude, are you a fag? And the fact that he knows so much stuff makes me feel really oh, oh. stupid. Oh, oh. That is that's Howard. That's who? That's Casey. You think that's Casey? Well, I let's find out. I'm doing so bad at this. Well, by the way, the belly shirt comment. <laughs> Dude, you're always yawning and your whole belly is sticking out. It's, and it's Howard. What are you going to do when you're when you stressed? Let's find out. Fred tends to take you oh, through his thought thing. processes, which can be kind of wordy at times, <laughs> especially when you're in a rush. By the way, Casey's 100% right. He is. And yeah. on top of that, Fred wears a lot of belly shirts. <laughs> he does. What is up with that? Girls. Are you aware of that? You know what happens is I... I set my clothes out the night before, not aware that, that they're your clothes, wife's clothing. No, the clothes have shrunk <laughs> All right. since they were last washed. All when right. I come in, I can't go in and wake her up and get a new shirt, so I'm stuck. Oh, which, my God. which I find offensive. <laughs> and you know what I found out? I don't. Th I don't think he's offended by it. I think he's turned on. By it. Right. Fred grows every night is what the problem is. Right. Fred is growing. <laughs> growing. Shirts aren't from his radioactive oatmeal. <laughs> the fact that he knows so much stuff makes me feel really stupid. Yeah, I, I agree with that, too. I mean, he does know a lot of stuff. Then again, Barney makes KC sound stupid. I mean, it's KC we're talking about. <laughs> right. Okay, next up. This is a real rant here. There's a bunch of things that I guess, ah, eh, doesn't annoy me about Fred, but scares me about Fred. Mm. First of all, the fact that you don't want to say anything about Fred because you're afraid he's going to kill you. And that's pretty annoying. But the thing that annoys me about Fred... Whenever we have a writing meeting, he would chew on his pen, stare into space. You're waiting for him to say something. He's a brilliant writer and all that, but that's kind of creepy, and that annoys me most. And his chin hair, how it's turned gray. I don't like that. I don't understand what it is. It's like a billy goat or something. Also, when Fred drinks his coffee, he gets really bad coffee breath. Okay, the thing that m annoys me most. 
what? You know what? About it's Howard. Howard. It's, it's Howard. Howard. Especially. But since it's so verbose. <laughs> let me finish. Fill, and he's got to fill four hours. I'd say it's Howard. <laughs> <laughs> it's Howard. That's oh, a book. Uh, That's not a book. What's, what's, what's the last line? How many okay, more the things last could line. you have said? Okay, so the thing that annoys me most about Fred is I say, especially when you talk to him on the phone, he just rambles on, he over-explains, he talks and he talks and he talks. Okay, there's a bunch of things there. <laughs> I guess, now, uh, now we get to listen to this? <laughs> yes, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to hear it all over again. It scares me about Fred. First of all, the fact that you don't even want to say anything about Fred because you're afraid he'll kill you. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> But uh, the thing that annoys me about Fred, okay, when we're, when, whenever we would have like a riding meeting or something like that, he would sometimes chew on his pen and just stare off into space when you're waiting for him to say something. Profound. You know. And he's a brilliant writer and all that, but that's kind of creepy. But I think the thing that annoys me most is maybe that chin hair that's now turned gray. Like, I don't understand... <laughs> What that is. <laughs> Fred's playing the snorries. And, and also when Fred drinks coffee, <laughs> he really gets bad coffee breath. He does. Okay, the thing that most annoys me about Fred, I'd say, when, he, when you talk to him sometimes, especially on the phone, he just rambles on and on. Like he he over-explains. He talks and talks and talks. Ronnie, please come in. I don't but feel I love you, Fred. Please, don't, don't hold this against me. Wow. You say, don't hold this against me. I Come on. They asked me to say something. 100% true. All right. Do you agree with that, Robin, what I said? Oh, yeah. You re, you know, you sort of reiterated what I said, and then you went further. Thank you. And further. I did it in a loving way. What was, it, what was her statement again, Robin? That you, you can't really take it. Oh, but you can give it. See, that's, you can give so it. far, that's the one that's bugged me the most. Oh! Only, not, and I'm not mad at her, but it's like, it's so her. What about that chin oh, hair? stop it's it. It's so her. Why the stop hair it. on the chin? I don't know. All right. It, it looked good at one point in time, and I'm just no, it's all right. too lazy to change it. I, actually, it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. Uh, you know what I hate about Fred is the fact that I have nothing to hate about Fred. That's what I hate about him. Me and him just get along so well, man. Everything is about... Oh. Oh, Everyone's going to think this? I'm pussy. Who's the lame that, who ruined the bit? That I'm afraid it's Benji? not true. No, I, you know, I can't think that would be Benji. Benji. I do. It's no. either Benji or I Gary. I hope it's not Benji. And it can't be Gary. Not it can't be Gary. If it's Benji, it's Benji. he's fired. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It can't be Gary because he just said that I said something. At because it's, again, Benji working. doing shtick and not right. being honest. Yeah. And that's what kills the Benji. We get along so well. Let's see who it is. All right. You know what I hate about Fred? Oh, it's Ronnie. 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 Why don't you tell us Ronnie's in the game? Because Casey produced this and not me. Oh, all right. I hate about oh, Fred. That's know. what I hate about him. Me and him just get along so well, man. Yeah, all right. You know what? Everybody, went to we didn't this. know that Ronnie was in it. When is Ronnie I, you know getting in bits? I, I asked Ronnie if he was in the bit, and he said he wasn't. What a douche. I just asked him. <laughs> what a douche. Oh, he ruined that. Yeah. We don't need people not being honest. Right. Cut them out if they don't have any... Uh, yeah. Just cut them out completely. Get rid of them. Hey, Ronnie, why don't you give Fred some oral after the show? <laughs> We're waiting for We're Benji's apology. Love. My wife isn't coming to Vegas. You know what's annoying about Ronnie? He's, he, uh, he's got to kiss everyone's ass. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. The n most annoying thing about Fred is throughout the show... And Benji, I apologize. Yes, we do both. Because we were screaming at you. <laughs> and Artie, too. We did call him a pussy, and we thought he pussied out. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. The most annoying thing about Fred is throughout the show, he grunts a lot. I don't know if the mic picks oh, it up. that is absolutely but true. throughout the show, it's like this. <clears throat> and it's, he's overly defensive about any comment about him. As soon as he hears this, I know he's going to get very pissed. By the way, whoever said that is a genius. There are times when I'll be talking, I'm not going to hear... Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes, he right. talks under you. And that's I'm like, right. are you got to be kidding me? And I'm trying to kill his mic, and he's, he's having a conversation. There's oh, only cool. every once in a while that I am in the same room with Fred, hmm. but you hear the underlying commentary the whole time. Who's that, Fred, who said that about Gary? Gary Delabate? I say Benji did because he sits near him. No, I think Benji's going to come up with something different. But my, it's scary sometimes. Yeah. Nah, scary. But that's the third time people have said you can't take it, Fred. Don't blame me. All right, here's the person who said so far, it. I'm so good. The most uh, annoying thing about Benji. Fred is because he sits there and listens yeah. to it. I would have thought he would have picked up on something else. I tell you, Fred, I don't know if you're doing. If you know you're doing it, you talk to yourself. You're through like the, whole the Amen show. Corner. And I'm like, Fred's doing a show. <laughs> throughout the show, he grunts a lot. I don't know if the mic picks it up or or not, but throughout mm. the show, he's always like, uh, uh. uh. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Right, that's uh, a very good observation. He's overly defensive about 
any comment about him. As soon as Absolutely. he hears this, he'll get very pissed. <laughs> he's trying not to be pissed. Yeah, he's being big about this. You know you do that, right? I know I do it. All right. I love Why it. do you do that? It is radio. It, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Are you he work knows on he it? does no. it. No, you're no. going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. Maybe his belly shirt's too tight. It's too late. <laughs> too late to change. You know what's great about this show? Benji went from being the idiot that ruined the bit to a genius in five seconds. <laughs> hey, he did well. Yeah. He did something right. Every <laughs> crappy <laughs> comment I blamed on Benji. <laughs> and Benji. me. One of the reasons I probably grunt is because of, you know, Benji's stench. Ah, <laughs> whoa, Fred <laughs> firing back. <laughs> Sorry, I, there, you know. All right, Sal. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last one. So two more. Two more. <clears throat> Sometimes Fred has topics he wants to talk to you about, and sometimes you're working, and I don't know if you recognize that, so he'll corner you, he'll talk to you, and there's really no way to get out of it until he's done. And sometimes he can do that, and it could be a very long time. Right. Gary. Right. Because he's the only one left. Hold, hold on a second, Sal. We, we skipped none. Okay. But that was sometimes good. Fred has topics he wants to talk yeah. to you about. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it, you're working. It's I don't Gary. Know if he had it's to Gary. check the paper for that? Fred, can I say something about Gary? What? After the first annoying game, when Gary was in his office, his head was all wet and sweaty, and he was red, and he was looking down, shaking his head in, in sadness. I go, wow. I go, I, didn't, I can't believe they didn't break on your, your teeth. He goes, it's not that, dude. This is some serious stuff. Then... Gary's thought process broke out. He stood up. He goes, yeah, Fred, I'm annoying. I'm annoying because I hijack conversations. Wait till I say blah, 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 blah about you tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. Right. He really <laughs> lost it on Fred's comment. He really lost it on Fred's All right. You know what? I have a habit. He's got a habit. What are you going to do? All right. There you go. <laughs> We've all got bad habits. There's the Fred game. Bad Another home bad run. Habits. Another home run for Sal. Okay, Christine, you're on the air. Howard, hey. Hey. Uh, you know, Sal has to get that job. Well, just remember, Sal, uh, when you vote, because you, time. you're the ones who decide, and I do think Sal deserves a vote. By the way, it does sound like Sal's wife on the phone. <laughs> no, this isn't Sal's wife. My wife went across. Sean the White Rapper. Uh, all right. I was going to dish you, Sal, but you did a great job. All right. That's being a man. One, one thing I want to say is, uh, why when Fred gets drunk, does he act gay? Good point. That's a good one, too. Okay, Mike, you're on the air. A sputtering who? Man, Sal is a rocks, man. This is All the right. best week, Howard. Yeah, he did a great did job. a lot of good business. I'm going to miss you guys, man. I, I, you had a good you time. You enjoyed yourself? Very yeah, entertaining, Sal. Very been, entertaining. Uh, I, I get choked up when I think about it, but uh, you guys have been really good. I know. I, you just guy thinks I'm playing, but I've just been, everybody's been so incredible. Will and Jason and Brian and Serge and... Uh, I, I just felt so at home, and I, I, um, I'm going to miss it, man. I, I really, really, I, I don't care about winning. I just ca care about contributing to the show. Dude, you just ruined the whole week. I know. Well, you, if, you know, do what you want. Say what you want to say. I'm being me. That's what I'm all about. So, Sal, um, I think Sal's crying he's because, crying. Cause well, because he's moved by the fact that we accepted him. Yeah, I don't think this guy's got any acceptance. And he got to express I, himself I, in a number of ways this week. I just wanted to make, um, you know, make make the fans happy and and do what I can do. I mean, this show is part of my heart. So if I'm crying, it's coming through, through um, it's coming through me because that's how much the show means to me. Wow, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Get out! Go to San Diego to Super Sonic. Super Sonic. Are you mad for no care about your All right, Sal. Yeah. Uh, my kid is calling me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sal. Thank you for a great week. You did a great job. Yeah. Sal, very emotional. Mm, that has to say something. Hey, good week, you fag. <laughs> we have enough unstable people around here. Cliff, you're on the air. Damn, man. Sal really did great. I waited until Friday to hear him completely, and I got to say, this guy's hit a home run out of the park. He did. He did. Excellent job, Sal. And let me say F to Tom CC because he's an asshole. <laughs> All right. Well, there Zolar you go. Zolar out. Zolar out. <laughs> See you in Vegas, baby. See you, Zolar. In Vegas, baby. Ay, vey. <laughs> Tears always mean ratings, by the way. All right. Good oh, for you. God. We have when a famous guy cries. <laughs> <laughs> yes, double A. Yo, Howard. How's it going, man? Good, bro. <laughs> Hey, uh, what happened to you, Double A? Your voice is messed up. Nah, I'm getting excited for Vegas, you know. Oh. <laughs> You're coming out, right? Definite. Hey, uh, Sal did an awesome job this week. He brought a lot to the table, man. Let yes. Me tell you, he did more this week than Stutter and John did the, the whole damn 15 years there. <laughs> awesome job, Sal. Awesome job, Sal. You got that for sure. You know what Jay Leno saying? I got the wrong guy. Exactly. You, know, you should have gotten <laughs> Sal the stockbroker. <laughs> you know? I'm sure that's next. Yeah. Sal. You know, I just want to say that you guys made a lot to me. Like, I mean, it's just, the whole week has been like, Sal running the gamut from crazy bits to actual emotion. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is my kid again. I got to get out of here. <laughs> All right, Sal. Leave it at that, Thanks pal. to the fans, man. Thanks to everybody. Good Thanks, job. Real, we showed some real class this it's, week. And you know what? It's what I do. And I'm... 
I could do it no problem at all. Thanks, Al. Listen, as soon as you finish the vacuuming, you can leave. Yeah. Go goggle some Heineken and drop that, will you? Just because we're going to call you Sally from now on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Sal the Sally Stockbroker doing a great right. job. And uh, what can I say? I need a tissue. What was up with that meltdown you had? I don't know, you know? It just happens, I guess. I think just a week of just getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning every day and your head is spinning and you can't think straight, you know? It's all the emotion, the adrenaline. But what really made my eyes get teary is with go ahead, let it go. Gary's breath. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, was this part of the act or were you really getting emotional? Uh, yeah. They said I was crying. I was. I don't know if I sounded like I was crying, but I wasn't crying. I mean, you did, you did, you did I get choked up. Yeah, I got a little teary eyed, you know. But um, it was just a. It was a. It was a. It was a. Hey, hey, hey. Sneezed. You mind? Sneezed. Now, how does it feel that you got emotional for you know for guys do what I really like so much? What I like so much? Um, uh, I got emotional because uh, I love the show so much, and you know, and the guys around, and everyone else, and I just thought, um, I don't know, it just it just overcame me. That's all. It's just because I I got upset because I'm dedicated to the show, unlike other people, just sit around and demean the people who walk through the hallways all day long. Now, how do you think you did for the week? I think I did good. I mean, I did the uh, I did the best I could do as far as pleasing the fans. I, I you know that's where I think uh, my strong points are. I think I can tap into the fans because I'm a fan myself and know what they want to hear, and I I try to be that that outlet to them. You douche and licking son of a bitch. All right. I don't, you want to give her two minutes. Gary says she's a scream. She lost a bunch of weight. She's some Puerto Rican chick who swears now she should be a model. Oh, okay. And that she should be discovered because she can sing. He says she's all over the place. Let's see what she looks. What like. is she? A singing model is what you're talking about here. Not a bad looking girl. Very pretty girl. Good looking. Jill. Oh, she's good gosh. looking. Hey. Oh my God. Hi, Howard. How are you doing today? Now you say you model? No, 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 no. Um, first of all, thank you all you guys. You guys are all so wonderful. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. You're a pretty girl. Your lipstick with the black line around your mouth looks like a mustache from where I'm standing. Christmas. Okay. See, that's the first thing you got to take care of. You, okay. it, you outline your lips in black eyeliner. Yeah. And it looks like you have a mustache. And you're a pretty girl. Why are you doing that? A lot of Puerto Rican girls do that. They haven't gotten the word yet. You're not supposed to oh do that. Oh, my God, hi. Hi there. It's I... a horrible look. Okay, we can get rid of it if it's distracting you. You look like you wrapped your mouth around a tailpipe. <laughs> yeah, or something bad happened. And you sucked. Hi. <laughs> okay, Um. so my name is Anita Perez, like I told this gentleman over here. The one with the big teeth and lips? Yes. That's um... Gary. <laughs> I think you're all beautiful, first of all. Thank Everybody you. looks different. We're all beautiful. That's what makes us beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. All look Artie, Signal, you're beautiful. Brown. Thank you, Robin. Okay, anyway, um, I just got here from Haverhill, Massachusetts. Um, like I told I've you. visited Haverhill, Massachusetts many times. Oh, my God. Are you That's that? right. I've spent lots of time there. <laughs> um, first of all, I cannot even believe I'm Haverhill here. was a huge manufacturing town years ago. I used to make shoes there. You're a good man, Howard. You're damn right. I I'm your father. You. Yes, you are. Yeah, that's you are. right. I had you sex with your mother. Oh, no, you I mean, literally. <laughs> Honey, let me understand something. You say you were fat. No, I was a size 14. And, and what are you now? I'm a 5. And I still have 7 pounds to lose. Right. Um, but the whole point is that since I was 12, I knew I wanted to be a superstar, but I was overweight. I wasn't when I was a little girl, but somehow it happened, um, eating too much rice, I guess. And I said, okay, I want to be a superstar, but you have to lose weight. Right. About 15 years it took me, but it finally happened. I met my boyfriend, David Spitaleri from Methuen, Mass. Um, and, and you lost uh, weight. No, no, he's a personal trainer, and he got me in shape. And, okay, all along I was practicing because I knew I was going to be a singer someday. Let me hear you. You sing real quickly. I'll tell you if you have any talent. You want to know if you have talent? I know I do. Um, cause like I told you, we need everybody. What are you like a J Lo? No, 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 no. I'm sing, like, listen. Sing I'm, the song you sang for me okay. outside. One, two, three. I 
I get a little tongue twisted Every time I talk to you When I see you And I'm so glad that you just me The way I stare to my eyes Your face But anyway, I'm not just a singer I can the dance A night of Larry. I can no, no, I, I'm the night of Perlet Dance to this The night of Perlet She's sausage party. That's the best. Can I dance? That's the best You're I've good. ever seen someone dance to that song. You yeah, that? you guys are so awesome. The way you compliment me, it's unbelievable. But I want to let you know ah. that I, I like planned this to be here. I said if this doesn't work out, like I told him, I lost all this weight. Everybody's always. You need I, to lose more, you know. Yes. I saw you when you were dancing. You need to lose seven pounds. Fifteen. And you need to figure out the difference. And I will. I will lose, lose 15, fifteen pounds. I will. But I need help now because I'm all alone in the city. I do not know anybody in the Howard, city. She, she just got on a bus this morning from Haverhill yeah. and got off the bus really with no plan. No, no, no. I always have a plan. What's the plan? The plan was um, I sent my pictures to the Ford Agency in New York City, a modeling agency, yeah. and because um, I wanted a break. You need a break in this life. Somebody has to say, fine, I'll help you out. You know, let's see. Well, you got to have the good. You got to listen. listen. How old are you, first of all? 23. All right, that's a little late to be starting a model. Sounds like you might be no, no, 27. No, no. It's never too you late. You might be older than 27. It's never too late. You're older, aren't you? No, I'm 20. What year were you born? What year were you born? Quick. Uh, okay, 76. I'm really 27. but That's what like, I thought. People like to hear the young numbers, you know. She, she right. went to American right. Idol, and they told her that you... No, was... I did not go to American Idol. I called to be on the right. show, and what happened? I was a year too old, so I couldn't do uh, it. I'm sorry. And I was on Divas Live, contestant 135, put on by VH1. Right. I didn't win that. Right. Um, but, you know, from all your mistakes, you always get somewhere. Because then from that, I got a scholarship to John Robert Powers in Boston. Now I'm trained for TV commercials, soaps and sitcoms, and features. Yes, now. one from Telemundo. You're on the Hello, show. my little burrito. Yes. You're going to be a big star. i got two things for you to learn. Yes. Number one, lap dance, $20. <laughs> Number two, don't do it in my eye. Right. Oh. Would you ever do stripping? No. No, it's not your thing. No, because, you know, I... Well, like, I Robin, what about her singing uh, on a scale of one to ten? Well, it's unique. And that yes. sometimes And that's works. what will set you apart when you're yeah. different. You can't be like everybody else. you got to be Isn't real. Isn't it true the Ford Modeling Agency sent your pictures back Yes, you? and I sent them back with, like... Uh, <laughs> so so they're just sending them back and forth? Yes, back and forth, because I wanted you know, to prove to real? them... You should that. send a resume. I'm going to put your picture up on Howard Stern's... <laughs> And let Howard. people look at you. I love how I'm going to take a facial and shot not only and because body he's shot. Giving me a stance, but because he's a good man. And yeah, a I will don't put like your picture up there because he's real. And when you're real, people think you're crazy. Are you oh, crying? No, no. I just, I this Did is you like. Cry? I love real people. See, we're weird. Like, Listen to, to me. The world, I will weird. take your picture, put it up on right. HowardSure.com, and I will institute on the, the bulletin board a poll about your looks, and I will get back to you tomorrow with whether you are a 10 or a 1 or somewhere in between. You know what? I am not perfect, but I'm the best that I can be and working on myself. How do you look in a bathing suit? How do you look I, in a bathing suit? I'm still not confident. I Like I told you, 15 more pounds, and All I'll right. put it on, on right. the show. Go take your pictures. Go ahead. Is she now here to stay, Thank or are you. you going home? Well, okay, at home, everybody thinks I'm going to be a big superstar, because I had my big interview today at the Ford Agency. Did I tell you guys I sent the whole agency cat of lilies, $600 worth, and still not even two minutes of... Can I be honest with you? Yes. You're too heavy to be a model. Okay. All but, right. No, 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 wait. Bottom What's that line. late? Emmy? Emmy was a, a plus-size yes. model. Yeah, but you're not plus and you're not... Excuse you're me, pretty Ty, girl. Excuse you're me, pretty Tyra girl, Banks is a size 8. Hello. She's she also 11 feet tall. Right. No, I think that I could do it if I no. lose a little more weight. Arms have got to get thinner, ass, waist, hips, everything. Well, this is what okay. we're saying. Why did you come here before you're ready? Oh, I've been uh, I've been playing this my whole life well, since I was pounds. 12. I mean, I'm going crazy what in that little Richie town. for me who knows women like the back of his hand? She said that she has an interview with Ford today. Yeah. She just showed up outside the office and stalked the, the Ford girl. And the Ford girl was like rude to her, telling her to like, basically get away from her. I, I didn't stalk so she, her. So she didn't have an interview. You but just she, showed she up. She didn't even know. She, she just can't. You've got to make an appointment. Hi, Pitch Eric. You're on the air. Howard, can you tell us to take the top off? 
Take your top off right no, now. No, I can't. Oh, I'm on. sorry. Listen, I'm trying to market myself to America. Like, well, this very... is America right here. Okay, I'm not doing it now. I understand, but first of all, I'm not confident yet. Hi, Pitch Eric works for a modeling agency. This is one of America's top models. Do you want her to take her top off? Yes, I do. Please. All right, there it is. I Get would, on. I would, but I still got more weight to lose. Once I take the weight off, then we can talk. Hey, Howard. Yes. Can you post a picture on Howard? Because if you're going to do off? something, you're yes. going to do it, you know, right. By the way, do you have my cowboy high pitch? What? Yeah, I got that. Can you play it, please? We'll see. I love you, Howard. You're the man. He is the man. Uh, you're the man. Go take your pictures for howardstern.com. Thank you. Show a little skin if you could. America, oh, please yeah. give me a chance. I am a good person. I'm just like everybody else trying to make it in this crazy little world. Yes, Mike. I would send this dumb broad back to Spanish Hollow, please. He's an annoying bitch. Oh, All right. my God. Okay. All right. You well, don't you have can... to be rude. I understand not everybody will agree with you in life, but you got to keep walking, you know? Well, you remind me you have the attitude of like a J-Lo or... No, 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 no. I'm or Zenaida. Or Lopez. Zenaida Perez. Different. Uh, uh, American impressive. Idol, didn't they raise the age limit so, yeah, this to, time around? To 30, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm... I'm on Howard. This is bigger. All right. I'm just Thank saying. You. It's out there. This Thank is you. the biggest thing in America. You know what else is going to help you? you know what this help is you? an honor to be in the presence Listen of to your Uncle Artie. one of you. You know what else is going to help you in New York tonight? It's, yes. you got to learn the difference between a compliment and sarcasm. Okay. Right. That will yes. also work Right. Because uh, it's like a no lot of people, not us, but a lot of people are sarcastic. Yeah, right? we're not being sarcastic. Well, you're very beautiful. Go take your pictures for HowardStern.com. Thank you. You guys are all beautiful, too. There's your future Ford model and no, singer. No, no, no. No, future superstar. Zanata. All right, Zanata. Zanata. Remember right. that name? Okay, guys. Thank you. Size D cup. I love I you, tell. David. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there she goes, America's superstar, yeah, Zenaida. Zenaida, our next superstar. I think she should send the resume over to Ford Motors. I don't know if she knows about carburetors. <laughs> She's a nice face. Her face, face is gorgeous. Yeah, beautiful face. I'll put her up on HowardStern.com. You decide. You decide. You do. You knew she was America's sweetheart. You knew. And the good thing is uh, she doesn't talk too much. You wanted us all to be a buzz. Wow. What a firecracker. Robin wow. is talking hysterically. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> I just can't believe this because this is my dream. All I wanted... Do you guys have to laugh? No, no. Tell us what's going on, Stop please. That. Yes, we have to laugh. The guy, the guy who's um with the camera, nice guy. He's very, very nice, nice. Don't stop crying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, he told me, okay, so what happens now? And I said, what do you mean, what happens now? He goes, what you gonna do? And I said, well, I was hoping, you know, somebody can help me out. And so I was waiting to speak with Howard. He goes, you're probably not gonna be able to speak to him again. And I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, that was it. And I said, that was it. So what do I do now? And he's like. <laughs> so I said, uh, my plan was to have, you know, somebody introduce me to people like P. Diddy or something. And, you know, then from there, you know, we start working on my career here. And he goes, well, uh, I don't know. But, and I said, well, give me your business card at least, and I can call you tomorrow. And he's like, okay, here it is. And then I was leaving, and I said, oh, my God, what do I do now? I guess I, uh, I got to think of a new plan. And then he ran out. I think it was him. And he said, somebody called you here. And it's, oh, my God. Sailor from Uptown Productions. I don't even know who this is, but that's, that's Uptown Pizza. Oh, I think they're gonna give me a chance, and that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted my whole life, just a chance. And I don't care if you guys all think I'm crazy because I'm real, okay? I'm not gonna stay home in April, Massachusetts, and hate my life. I'm going to be real and make a fool out of myself and say, please, somebody in America, give me a chance, please. Uh, do you think there's any chance that you'll be able to handle the pressure of stardom? <laughs> yes, I can. You know why? Because I've always been a superstar. We're all superstars. You just got to be real. If you're not real, then you're not a superstar. You're just making believe you're one. <laughs> but when people think you're crazy, like Howard, everybody thinks either you love him or hate him. Just like me, that you love me or you hate me. <laughs> well, then people think we're either weird or, uh, I don't know, but she's snobby or... People always with their comments. You know how it is. That, Walk that's... on with your dream. <laughs> Walk on with your dream. And may all your dreams come true. Thank you.
They will. Everybody out there, walk don't stop on, dreaming. Keep dreaming. This is what life is about. You gotta live your life in dream, okay? Don't let nobody forever. tell you you can't. Yes, you can do anything yeah. you want if you try. Okay? I'm on Howard. Hello. <laughs> that is a dream come true. Never. Thank you. And you won't believe it. I was also the Statue of Liberty back home like a few months ago. Oh, I believe it. I stand <laughs> outside and wave at people, and people would look at me like, is that girl insane? And I look just like the Statue of Liberty. I had the outfit and everything, and I just wave at them, and they look at me like, is she real? And I just wave and say, at least I'm free and I'm real. I'm not riding around in a BMW saying, oh, God, I got to go home to that wife of mine that I can't stand. Or my, my job. You guys are rocking these guys. <laughs> yeah, Young West Pictures coming at you. Young West I'm so glad I'm not in a band. What a pain in the ass. Jeez. You are ear delicious. I looked at love from both sides now. <laughs> Thank you. That's not a band. From here to there. I was listening to Bruce Hornsby this weekend. It wasn't so bad. What song? Bruce Hornsby's good. It's good. Yeah, I didn't like him when he was the first time around, but I was checking him out. It was pretty good. You know that hit song he had. That's just the way it is? Yeah. That's just the way it is. Yeah. Some things will never change. Some things will never change. Yeah, yeah. That was a good song. <laughs> well, I was power fisting at the time. <laughs> and he started touring with the Grateful Dead and he lost me. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the way it is. <laughs> la, 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 la. On the weekends, I've been listening to homo music. It keeps me relaxed. I don't get too hyped up. That's just the way it is. So what's the deal on Jet? Are they... Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Everyone says they're really cool, but... They are? I mean, I like that song. I like you. I want to meet your friend who can predict the future. <laughs> I didn't say predict. Hello. <laughs> it's another gay Monday. I like this song, though, man. It's pretty good. Yes. WNBC, Bruce Holmes. Oh. Coming at you. <laughs> Model update. What? Let's see what we got here. All right, you want to hear me yell at Sal? Or do you want to hear me... A, a about, real yell fest? Not a yell fest. He's just goofy. What did what he happened? do now? He does dumb stuff. Like I, I, I like the guy, but he's dumb around the office. Oh boy! You know. I was talking to Sound Gary about side. this the other day, and I said, you know, it really. He, see, he's not pretending to step over the line. He really doesn't know where any lines no, are. No, yeah. Okay, Sal. Guess what I'm talking. How about we call this game? Guess what you did? I thought it was funny. What What is funny about it? I played a crying sound effect over a Bon Jovi song. No. Oh, okay. that was funny. No, that was good. Oh, yeah, that you was killed... funny. Yeah, because I was going to play uh, dogs yodeling after that, and, and but you. Uh... No, because you know what? It was funny, and then I knew you would go into overkill, so I killed your mind. Right, you're smart. You right. know me better than me. Right. That's why we work together. So I know. Well. I know your limitations, but guess what you did wrong? What did I do wrong? Um, I played a sound effect during a commercial. No. Has it? Why would I ever be mad at that? I don't like this game because I'm telling you all the things I did wrong without you knowing. Guess what you did? I'll give you one more guess. I got married. <laughs> well, you did. That was wrong. <laughs> this guy definitely got married and that to the was wrong, wrong woman. What yeah. did I do wrong? What did you do wrong? If you can guess what you did wrong, I'll give you five hundred dollars cash, courtesy of GoldenPalace.net. It's nothing on the air. That's a clue. Artie will split it right at that. And the reason I know is because I overheard it. I, right. I, I don't Just know. now? Did it, no, it, it didn't happen. It's nothing. Remember, you, remember, you got called out of the room. I need three hints. Right. Yes. Remember, just now you got called out of the room. Yes. That's so I could talk about you. Right. Really? You yeah. Should know, you should know that around here, Sal. Yeah. Yeah, it took you're... me a year to figure that out. <laughs> if you ever get called out of a room, why were you just out of the room just now? <laughs> I was just out of the room because Lewis told me that I played a set. Sa- oh. 
<laughs> did I play something that you didn't like? Or no, no, no. That was to get you out of the room. Okay. No, no, no. There's something else I played that Lewis told me about. Right. Okay, that that oh good that I'm. That's it took not me a year of leaving the room and coming back in with stuttering John giggling like a maniac for, for me to figure that out. Did I write a bad joke? And no, no, okay. no, 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 nothing um, like that. All right, forget it. No, I'll no, tell no, never I need the money. I need the money. All right. <laughs> Give me five hundred dollars cash, courtesy of GoldenPalace.net. You can win five thousand dollars just by signing up at GoldenPalace.net, the Nets' best free casino. Sign up now at GoldenPalace.net. Let's play. What did Sal do wrong? I'll give you a hint. I'll tell you. It didn't even take place in the studio. It took place in the office yesterday. Took place. Did I bring somebody up? What? I brought somebody up. Who did you bring up? Uh, a comedian who's been on the show, Mike Bichetti. Nope, no. that's not it. Um. Why would that be wrong? See, it's okay. He'll he, never he win. He never knows what's I wrong. I can't believe. on the computer in front of an intern. Right, because he doesn't... What did you do? <laughs> What did you do? Uh, nothing. You played porn uh, on, on the, the com computer under uh, in front of an intern. I look for sound bites after work on <laughs> moviemonster.com, and I look. And sometimes there's like a, a female intern behind me. And uh, that's a good way to dig into what he did. Well, that is something. That is something you did wrong, but. Yeah, That's don't what, do that again. Either. I don't like this game. <laughs> um, what did I do yesterday after the show? What did you do wrong? That's what you did wrong and win five hundred dollars. It's impossible because what he did. But how could he not he know that's wrong? He doesn't know it's wrong. I'm telling you, he I has no on, clue. I teased Julie Slater. <laughs> Why did you te tease Julie Slater? She had a wet wipe. I picked it up. Go ahead. I put it over my nose and I sniffed it in front of her. Did that skeever her? That isn't what I'm talking about, but that yeah. doesn't sound right not, either. That, that is skeever. Good Lord, you don't know these things. Look what you're, you're, you're up to in one day. Am I, getting... uh, I raped JD. <laughs> <laughs> Am I getting hotter? No. Oh. I, I mean, I just I, I just don't believe you. Okay, yesterday I got to the computer. <laughs> I gave porno Peter Blumpkin. Something you did <laughs> that, that was bad enough to bring it to Howard's attention. Which I... Uh, That's how out of it he is. Wait a minute. Uh, it was... It... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for the answer? Uh, no. There is no answer. I just want to know what you're up to. Oh, really? No, 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 no. There is an answer. Would you, would you want one more guess? Take yeah, the guess. Can you, give me, you haven't given me a hint. Can it you happened me? yesterday. Okay, at roughly where was I? You, you were, were in the here. office. You were in the office. Okay, we got that part, and the third clue would be... That's it. <laughs> Does it involve another person? Did I offend somebody? Yes, you offended me. Uh, no, you didn't offend anyone in the office, though. You just did something sort of inappropriate. Ooh, did you? In did the I, office, he did, did I what? fart in front of somebody? <laughs> That's not inappropriate. Here. Is that your guess? Did you fart in front of somebody? I do it all the time, and I don't know if people get offended by that or not. Of course I mean, they do. I've desensitized myself to that. What makes you think people wouldn't get offended when you fart on them? Um, That's your fecal matter flying through the air. I, it's nice. It's like, you, sh you know, yeah. it's a, a bonding but, experience. But that isn't what I'm referring to. Uh, okay, this was yesterday. This was out of the office. It wasn't Julie Slater. What, what, all right, what, I'm going to give you the party. answer. Yeah, because we can't spend all day. Right. I got to know? know. No, I have no idea. Well, just please, just one more guess, only because times are rough and I can really use the money. Can I have one more hint? One more. Sure. Go ahead. Give me a hint. Because I don't really have a hint. I, I could, you know, I could give you a hint. Mm -hmm. and so Give me a hint. It was... <clears throat> What? Go ahead. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how to give him a I, I, I know. I think I know from okay. overhearing. I mean, I don't know if this is too big of him, but it involves someone who might be a guest on the show. All right. That's a good night. Oh. Oh. Something you did yesterday. <laughs> Somebody might be a guest. Oh, Craig Gass? All right. Well, listen. I'm going to just give you the answer. <laughs> What'd you do with Craig? What did What'd you do to him? <laughs> uh... I <laughs> what did you do to Craig? Nothing. It's just that he's on the. We do a lot of shows together, and uh, I, after the show was over, I go, "Hey, I, I feel bad about those cricket sound effects." And he said, "Oh, it's fine, it's fine." But you know, usually he calls me ten times a day, and yesterday he didn't call me at all. So mm. I don't know. No, that's not but a problem a, for us. Well, guy. yeah, he made he made it. Craig Guest made a joke on the show saying, "So play, play cricket." <laughs> I apologize. Right. Uh, don't right, I'll mind. give you one more hint. It involves a discussion you had with Will. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is it? What did you do wrong? Oh, all right. <laughs> you're killing me, dude. You're killing me. No, you're killing me, dude. I'm so no wait. Well, I can't trust you alone for a minute. I'm what trying to see if do? you're talking about the same I thing. Know, I know. Yeah, right, 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 right. You right. guess what you did wrong. So you win five hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, he hasn't he hasn't guessed yet. He knows what it is. I'm not sure of that. I know what it is. Um, what is it? What did it involve? Uh, my favorite porn star. Okay, okay. You win. Yeah, you win. All right, but. Listen to me. Okay. What did he do? I don't want to explain. Let me, excuse me for one minute, Robin. i got to handle something. Oh, jeez. Well, I wish I knew what you were handling. I'll tell you after he's done. Thank you, doodle-doo. Ripping me apart. Go ahead. 
Hey, Sal, no joke. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> you don't use our Rolodex to call porn stars. Are you kidding? He looked up a... It wasn't any business here's what for happened. the show? Sal walks up to Will, and he says, Hey, Will, I need a phone number for Audrey Hollander, the <laughs> porn star. Right. I need a contact number. So Will goes, oh, okay, uh, I guess you're doing a bit with her or having right, on the show. Right, but it was a show-related thing. He goes, no, 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 no. He goes, she's my favorite porn star, and uh, I just want to give her a call at home and tell her uh, how good she is. Yeah. How much I enjoy her work. Yeah, how much I enjoy her work was the exact quote. <laughs> now, i got to tell you one so more thing. So wait a second. All right, you, you so, so, No, so I, I, I was asking around, and I said, well, what's so special about Audrey Holliday? Why does that like her so much? And I found out that... She likes to get beat in the face with a certain part of a man's body. She turns down nothing. There's right. nothing that you ask her to do. And this is so hard to describe, but there's a place where most women won't have, have sex. She set the record. I think she uh, had three guys at once. Right. So that's what Sal loves about it. It was research, Howard. Hey, Everything. dude, dude, seriously, right. wait a second. I can't say anything to you because I'll look like I'm selling you. Uh, well, but just wait a second. Okay. Wait a second. Before you give me the research defense. <laughs> The Pete Towns and research. <laughs> yeah. How about the plaintiff defense when I get home? Hey, I could yeah, care less. I know. That's your business. That's your business. I got to run an office back there. <laughs> so then, so then, uh, you know, just to keep the thing going, somebody say, someone says, they, J Jason says, uh, to, you know, or everyone in the office hears what everyone's doing. Right. So Jason goes, dude, I totally get where you're coming from. That's like when. You know, Rodney called Howard, or Howard called Rodney to tell him how good his, you know, his right. movie was, that sort of thing. And it's, then Sal was hooked. Sal goes, yeah, that's yeah, right. Exactly. So did he make the call? So my co-workers egged me on to get in trouble. Right. right. But no. did no. he make the call? No. Will, thank you, was smart enough not to give him the number. Uh. But my point is, we I don't care if they're a porn star or an A-list movie star. We you don't a, get bothered. I don't want Sal calling anyone at home. We went through this with Gene Simmons of Kiss or Paul Stanley or one of them. I don't know. Ace Fraley. Ace Fraley. We went through this with that. I said, Sal, you don't call people at home that you like, especially, you know, some porn star. Right. But your ro this Rolodex is not your personal I wasn't phone call book. I wasn't going to call her at home. Where were you going to call at her? At the office. Oh, okay. And say what? The porn star I was going to say that I, I'm an associate producer of the show, and I enjoy your work, and I wanted to sort of pre-interview her. And but what? She's not scheduled. No, because I'm, wor I'm working <laughs> on you pre-interview her. I like to pre-interview her. And but I'm not her. looking to have her on. Well, eventually you might, and I want, I want uh... to have my stuff prepared. <laughs> <laughs> you're so bad at lying. I'm a hard worker. <laughs> yeah, you're working on things we're not even doing. Yeah. Exactly. That, I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> Dude, I you think gotta be you. Kidding. Would you do me a favor and stay away from my Rolodex? I don't care if it's a porn star. Anybody in my Rolodex, stay away you from You know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to say to Sal, anytime he needs a number, he has to explain to Gary first why he needs the number before Gary will allow Will or Jason to give it to him. Well, first of all, you know, the reason these people come on the phone to hear, oh, someone from the Howard Stern show. Well, of course. And Sal, of course, because he's horny, he just wants to hear a voice and, and rub one out to her. Right. The only pre-interview you've ever done with a man's pants around his ankles. He's yeah. going to get a personal visitation. So, dude, please knock it off. No, Really? Make sure you go through Gary to uh, get a number. Baba Booey. All right. Okay. But think about this, Howard. <laughs> Out of all the women I've seen and all the psychotic women I've witnessed doing crazy things, this girl must be something if I'm willing to go out of my way to call her. So she, I think... Sal, you're not getting my point. I get your point completely, but there's... You're also... not doing a pre-interview. You know you're not. You're not in charge of that. Number two, don't use my name, the Howard Stern Show name, to get these chicks on the phone so you can rub one out. I have so, no intentions of doing that. You know what you were going to ask her. I was going to say, I'm fascinated by your work. And, and you were uh, going to ask her questions about it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. You got me there. Right. So, what the kind of question? She's amazing, Howard. Yeah, Absolutely but, but do amazing. me a favor. You, you, well, you can't use my name, which right. is what you were about to do, to get these girls on the phone. All right. And I promise you, I will not call Audrey Hollander. And you're not, hey, hey, seriously, yeah. you're not allowed to do that. I'm, I'm going to have a I major know. problem with it. Howard, one thing about me, you tell me. I first. like you. You want to work here. That's okay with me. I like your work. But, man, I'm not going to put up with that. I mean, you remember I those stories, Sal? What the hell is supposed to do, you moron?
Um, you remember the stories of Siobhan at Jackie's house looking up Howard's address? That's what you just did. I yeah. know, and I'm sorry, and it won't happen again, and I really overstepped my boundaries, and I'm learning to take responsibility for my own actions. All right, thank you. <laughs> and, and, and clear with Gary before you do a yeah, bit. The way it would work, Sal, is you, you would yeah. probably go on the Internet and do some research on her, so, so, find smiling. out enough to pitch it as a guest, and then if we said, hey, we like it, then we would go to the pre-interview process. Pre-re-retard. <laughs> <laughs> Sal is working the sound effects while Fred is out. I know, so, even uh, on his own. Uh, right. Thank you. Da, da, toothy. Hanging. He has to Baba work Bowie. the sound effects. The sound effects are Baba Booey heavy. <laughs> uh. All right, thank you. Oh. He's got big green horse teeth. And his breath smells just like old butt cheese. All right, thank you. You're still going to have to go to him to get permission. <laughs> <laughs>Sal just walks into my office. Yeah. And he goes, and I never know when he's pulling my chain, you know, but he's being totally serious and he goes, I'm pulling this chain. I don't think you're pulling my chain. I think you figured out when I brought you in here to reel it back in. He goes, I have a theory. I said, what's your theory? He goes, I think subconsciously Howard wants me to do something wacky at the wedding. Oh. Oh well, my I'll God. Sal, I'm taking the invitation away. You fucking moron. No, no, hold on. Even Beth said she was listening yesterday when you walked in, and instead of saying, hey, I'm really excited to be coming to the wedding, and I'm really glad, you know, Beth saw a way to invite me, you go, what is your comment? Your comment was... She finally came she to She finally came to say, she heard that, she goes, I so fucking don't I know, want I heard there. that, too, well, and I was like, oh. Yeah, if I goes, said thank you, it would be boring. Right, you know, that's what I, that's, well, I, I... I try to even defend you, but... She she doesn't doesn't that was a joke for the radio. Show. Honestly, honestly, yeah. if, you, if you pull anything weird, I'm going to assign <laughs> Ronnie to you the entire night. If you do anything weird, I'm going to have you fucking thrown right out on I won't do anything weird. But and I'm not your therapist. What? Yeah, good. But I, I. Yeah, that's right. You're not my therapist. But you're not even you're not even somebody I'd confide in, let alone be my therapist. You're, you're not th even my therapist. Yeah, you're not even Artie's therapist. Artie will go to anyone. <laughs> All right, he's looking for help anywhere he can get it. I know. I was just saying to Gary that the the, the odd thing is that, bet if you look at the sequence of events, you're Beth, so fucked up. There was All a right. sequence of events. Beth. Beth asshole, is, listen Beth, to me. Beth is I'm marrying you because your name is now officially let, asshole. Let him explain it. Let All right, go ahead. Beth is marrying you because you have an, an endearing personality, you are a very powerful person, and you are extremely talented. That came from the show. Now, what? that came because of the popularity you've gained through the Howard Stern Show. You have created this entity. Now, in my opinion, there's one thing more that you love more than marriage and Beth, and that's your show. Your show comes first, no matter how you slice it. And in an odd way, <laughs> Is that right? all these events that have happened throughout the course of the years that have made your show great has led you to Beth. So I think there's only one thing more important than you than marrying Beth, and that's for a good show. So subconsciously, all right, Sigmund by Floyd, you knowing... Let me just tell you something. Hold on, let me, please let me finish, sir. <laughs> subconsciously, <gotta> <laughs> by you... So does Beth subconsciously want you to do something, too? But Beth's, there's one thing up higher than Beth in your mind, and that's the show. So subconsciously, oh. in your head, okay. you're thinking, okay, if Sal comes to the wedding, something might happen. And even though I love Beth, it could Sal, lead to something good Sal, for the show. Sal, I'm telling you right now, you're fucking insane. You're mentally ill. All right. And you have low intelligence. And you <laughs> invited him yeah. to your wedding. And... I, am, I, can, I, I was just about good. to say, I am stupider than you because I invited you. I somehow fucking felt bad for you. And Sucker. subconsciously and consciously, I will fire you <clears throat> if anything goes down. If you don't fucking behave exemplary. All right. But in, in an exemplary manner, you're out. If your show goes down. Good. Because I'm not Good. the, the guy you right. want me to I be, and Beth divorces you because right. you're no longer popular. Right. Don't blame me. You're insane. Get out. Oh no longer God. popular. Get out. Oh, I, I don't even want to hear your voice. Dude. But I, I, I honestly believe right, that, thank Howard, you. and I'm right. talking to you as a friend right now. Thanks, thanks. Because I well, know you're not my friend, so... Show, would you say the show's more important than Beth? No, I would not. Really? I would not say that. Would you say in the past the what show... I'm, what I'm saying to you is this, Sal, very simply. I felt bad for you. Thank you. Because I know you're a fucking head case, and I know how with, you're a crybaby. I'm not And I know baby. as tough guys, you come off and you try to make jokes about everyone. Second anyone says anything about you, you go into a paranoid fit. So no, I didn't I want you to fucking bum out that day. So we took some compassion on you. But the call, the audience is right. I'm an asshole for inviting you. Really? You're an ungrateful retard. 
Ungrateful? Yes. How am I ungrateful? Because here I've invited you and your reaction is bizarre. It's not, I don't know, I just thought that every time that we go You're out- You're saying you're so fucked up that if I invite you, I want something bad to happen. Not bad, but something yeah, okay. interesting. Oh, here's what I want to have happen. Oh, it won't be interesting oh, just, without it, you. No, but keep in mind- Sal, do me a favor. This, Honestly, this is a theory. This is, this is, is for theory. real. This no. is for real. Here's my theory. No, no. no do me, me a favor. No, no. I really, don't I'm taking, say it. I'm don't. taking it back. I no. don't want you to come. Um, no, how is I don't want you to theory. come. No, it's no, it. don't you're do not, that. You're not being allowed in. I'm no, telling I, you. I don't hear you. I'm uh, taking my headphones no, off. You're I can't out. hear you. Come you're on. out. I can't hear you. You're going to have security there just to stop Sal? Yeah, he's not coming. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, I had a party for Artie at a pizza place. He threw uh, pizza at Scott the Pace well, at the party. Well, they had a food fight. Yeah, yeah it's true. You know, what the fuck am I thinking? <laughs> The guy's you know, a retard. What he just said, man, I hope there was some humor in that because that was the scariest thing I've ever heard. No, he was serious. It wasn't. It wasn't. Here's how I know it wasn't. I'm serious. He floated that theory to John Hine on the way home yesterday in the car, which John said, Sal, just leave it here. And then he said it to Richard this morning. And Richard, of course, being a great employee, said, you got to go tell Gary. <laughs> yeah, I, but because doesn't he realize what he just said insults Beth, too? He's he's. You know, he's, he's not directly saying she's marrying you because you're famous, but he's sort of saying that, you know, yeah, he, well, he's yeah, exactly uh, saying yeah. that. his whole life is based on this show, including Beth's love for him. Well, right. he just insulted the shit. Like, in other words, you know, Be you know, Beth's with you for the for the show. Yeah. So he insulted you. He insulted, insult you, he insulted yeah. her. He and, insulted and whether everything. that's the case or not, why would you say that to me? First of all, he says it, he says it like it's a matter of fact yeah. and that you know it. Yeah. yeah. First of all, anybody who knows her Did by now knows it. It's not the case. Wait a minute. Don't come, will you? Well, hold on, but wait. I didn't say about that about Beth. No, not at all. I said, you yeah, okay. you, I said the popularity that you've gained by creating the Howard Stern Show has led you to Beth. Uh, okay. I mean, it's just all a, right. So it's in other words, so that's so important it's to me that something weird should happen. No, yeah, not something Sal, weird. This is retarded. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, I don't but want you to I'm not going to mistake. I'm not going to disrupt your wedding. I have a theory that subconsciously. How about this theory? I don't want you there. Uh, you know, but not, I want not, to take back not, the invitation. Now, you're being ridiculous just based on a theory. doesn't yeah. mean I'm going to do no, anything. I don't know, I don't know what, what you're capable of. I'm not the capable of right. anything. But the point uh, why is, am I torturing myself with you? I don't know. I don't either. I, don't even I made know a how mistake. I thought it was important to you, but it's not. It's when very you're important. There, no. You're going to be thinking about Sal and what he might yeah. No, yeah, you I, need, won't. I need to have a nice you day. You know I've been good. Your birthday party, Bubba's yeah, wedding. You sucked at Artie's party. You fucking threw pizza in Scott DePace's face. I well, that I was, was going to fucking kill you. Yeah, that's true with that one. I but, forgot about that. But after that one, with Artie, I was at Artie's house recently. I was great at your birthday party. I was great yeah. at your engagement party. I was great yeah. at... Uh, and I'm going to be good, but, up, but you have to understand, Howard. I'm, I'm being serious. I know, I'm not. If you want me to give you the talk off the air, I'll give you the talk. No, you don't. But um, I'm not talking to you. Because he'll still think you're telling him subliminally. Yeah. You, you, to have, to, you, have, you have to understand, it's just my Dominic, perspective you're on based on your show. Uh, I think you invited him and Beth did because it was almost like there were bad vibes not to invite right. him. Right. That's exactly right. And we would have had to live with... Two, three more months of him crying yeah. or not crying. And right. almost giving off bad vibes to Beth, who just wants this to be a happy moment. The real bottom line is, he's crazy. He is. He, get it. he is he crazy. He doesn't understand it. Well, and why he, do you think he can't get along with his wife? The, the two, she can't even communicate but, with him. But he really believes all this. That's what you're all missing. Yeah. He truly believes all he tells you. Yeah, he thinks he can read your mind. Beth loves Howard, and that's why she wants to get and married. And what's the difference and I agree. why she wants to get married? I invited you to the wedding because I wanted you to feel a part of things. And I appreciate yeah, that but greatly. I made a mistake. I realize it today. And with that sentiment, why do you want him sitting there? No, I don't even want you there. You're not there to celebrate my marriage. I am, really. No, I really don't want you there. <laughs> I'm there to celebrate, and I and I sincerely no, I mean really that. I don't want to pay for your drinks. I don't you wanna, don't have to. Yeah, I, I, I won't I want drink. an open bar except for you. I'll drink water. <laughs> yeah. I have Hardy, no open drink. bar for him. You're in charge of it. I'll be by the bar guarding it. Good. A simple Completely rule. sober. You're not going to drink at my wedding, right? That's right. Well, I mean, the goal is to stop drinking, yeah. How'd it go yesterday with your two-and-a-half-hour session? I'll tell you what, it actually went great. Yeah? yeah? He actually, at the end, he did some relaxing stuff. Not I quite meditation, but uh, no kidding. stuff I got into. Nice. Very helpful, because I, I had a stressful sounds, day the rest of the sounds day. Sounds a little new-agey. Yes, Dominic. Yeah, it I'm was. a simple rule. For, let's see if he can do it. He cannot discuss the wedding until the wedding. He's not allowed to bring it up. He can't give it. I don't want him going. I'm not kidding. 
I'm gonna be fine. Relax. Take it easy. It's only a wedding. This is so bizarre. All of a sudden, the wedding's all about you. It's not not, not even close to me. It's about Howard. That's no, what, what I had in mind. He's got to think. Uh, there's that asshole. Sam I wish I had somebody thinking something. for me like I think for this man. Oh my god. Oh my. You know what I mean? Right, it, on, you should down, be honored. Down, get out. <laughs> really. You're scaring everybody. Not just me. <laughs> what did he just say? So. What? Robin's kind of right. You are making this wedding about I'm you. I'm jerking Howard's chain. You guys can't see past that. So, Come on. I don't think you're, you're oh, not. Oh, it's such a bitch. Dude, yesterday in the hallway, you, Come said on. The, you said the same thing to me and Richie in the hallway. Of course. Said, well, I got to warm everybody up to make it seem real. Right, Richard? Yeah. Am I jerking? See? Richard said that you can behave if you want to. Of course I can, and I'm going to. I'm playing Howard. Do you understand? That's part of my genius. I get them all worked up and that, scared. That's part of Sal's biorhythm. Oh, yeah, the biorhythm. To go on the air and, and pretend like he's going to be crazy, but when it comes down to it, he's not. Richard, you think he's going to behave? Yeah. I think his biorhythms will be perfectly in check, and he'll behave. What does that mean, biorhythms? Biorhythms, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, it's... It means he'll behave. Combination of... <laughs> Bio and rhythm. I don't know what the hell it is. Is that like Come on, listen. It's your biological rhythm. Right, right. Sal? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do anything at his wedding. Come on. I'm fucking playing these guys. John Boy, you're on the air. Why don't you just put him in like a Hannibal Lecter transport dolly with a mask and then have someone push him around so you can't fuck idea. nothing up? Yeah. I think a cage like you do with a dog. You How about I not train? let him in the door? Beth, you're wearing I, I a Fino skin I wouldn't let him cream. within 60 miles of your wedding. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Within 60 miles. He can't Fred, even come You know what it is, Howard? City. Fred was very definite. You know what? <laughs> it's not even like he's going to do something that day. Yeah, it's right. like this poison pill that you swallow somewhere down the line. It might be one week. It might be two yeah, weeks. He's right. He's it right. might be three months. That's very wise. But he's going to do something that's going to ultimately hurt Beth Sing. and piss you off. Wow. Yeah, it could, yeah, he's right. It could be a reaction he says on the air about the wedding. Because it's, it's, it's kind of like what he did with the with the with the Beth jokes in his routines. You had to talk with the guy. And By the way, he, and then he still did it. It's like a compulsion. He can't help it. After Beth and I went and got our tattoos, we called Lisa G to give her the exclusive. We couldn't even get a hold of her. <laughs> really? I said, boy, she's slipping. What was she up to? I don't know. I couldn't get through to her. Well, you know, she did say she washed her hands of the whole thing. She, you know, she couldn't get any information. So she was like, <laughs> I'm done. I'm through with it. Took the Lisa, day off. Lisa, come in here. Where were you after we got these tattoo things? I didn't even see her out there. This yeah, there, there she is. I hear her coming in. <laughs> Sounds like a herd of elephants. <laughs> there she is. Hi. What happened? We called you to give you the I exclusive. I know. What I happened? I finally spoke to Beth. So. Yeah. <sighs> just ran in here. Lisa just sprinted into the studio. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find out what Sal meant by biorhythms. I know. Yeah, I don't know. He, he I, doesn't know what that is. No. He, he makes me feel. Yeah, what, is, what did he say? He didn't really explain it. Because he, he says, doesn't know what he's talking about. He says shit and he doesn't even know yeah. what he's saying. I'm telling you. He's not going to be able to help himself at the wedding. He's giving you his subconscious warning. <laughs> he, Absolutely. The people that have these problems, they can't. When the moment comes, it's like you gotta he's make not going to be able to help. He's going to be right. fucked. And he's, you know, by saying it here, that's his way of getting your tacit approval. If you right. still have him at the wedding, yeah. you're sanctioning I don't want shenanigans. I don't want him there. I'm not like kidding, Gary. I have a big announcement. Down. What's the announcement? I, I'm not kidding. I didn't even bother printing it out. Beth just sent me an email, and it's just one line. It said, please tell Sal to show some class and not show up at the wedding. Right. Wow. Wow. That's fucking... Well. What did you say, Lisa? That's not good. No, she but doesn't Phil want him. Does there. that all the time, though. Yeah, he had an invitation and he then screwed it up. Yeah, yeah. He got he got in the door, but he's not coming in. That's so will that good. open? Can I take yeah. the hot chick again? Or... <laughs> I think that's only fair. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's got uh, that. That you know what? I have to. You know what? It's, as fucked up as this, I have to agree with Beth. I think mm. he's he's acting a little odd here. Yeah, yeah. it's like why she's his right. priorities yeah. are all messed up. Yes, Ben. Hey, uh, Stern. Yeah. 
Hey, uh, you better watch Sal, man. This guy's like a fucking crazy stalker, man. He might try and like kill you one day, just, like for the better good of the world or some shit. You know, I, I don't. I wish I totally disagreed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, like that now. has some validity to it. Yeah. No, I mean, out of the, listen, I, I just think he's overthinking this, and it's in his head, and it's probably better for Sal too. That it, you know, whatever, you just you don't go. It's for his protection. Yeah. He might. You just lucky he didn't let him sleep at your house that one night. He might try to sniff, uh, sniff your boxes or something. I would never let him sleep at my house. <laughs> now he'd be walking around like in uh -oh. best wedding dress. Here oh, here comes oh. more idiotic talk. Yeah. What is it? Definitely, he's definitely. Dude, intrigued. that's not that kidding. Man. I know you you're know out. What? You better not go. Yeah, I feel bad for you, Howard. Right. Oh, Here he goes. God. Right. Okay. Here he Good. Goes. Thank you. you. Just right, no, no, shut go. up. Good. Shut up now. No, I feel bad because I, I put you in a, in a strange situation with the no. person that you love. No, and no, it's, no. It's you've a big put, event. You've put, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you've put me not in a strange position. You're strange, and I feel like you're crazy. But I'm not. I mean, uh, I was, mm. you know, just. No, he's a psychopath. There's a difference. I'm, <laughs> everybody knows I'm not a psychopath. We oh, do? no, they don't. It's just that I have. I, I, what happens is I have certain thoughts, and then I, I put them out there <laughs> where most people would just d dismiss the thought. Right. I allow the thought to run, and I think you mean of like scenarios. thoughts like of people killing another no, person? No, where does killing come into any of this? Tell, you just describe what a pedophile thinks. They have certain no, I don't. Like you see, that's what, that's like what really bothers me. That has nothing to do with it. No, but Pedophilia that's an, and but killing that's what an has nothing says. to do with somebody who is... Um, thinking about the show and thinking about things that coordinate with the show inside and outside. I'm just obsessed with the show. That's that's what it comes right. down to. But I do apologize because <laughs> I I feel really bad to put you in a strange situation like this because, you know, this is a special day for yeah, you. Yeah, you're messing me up. And I, I just went with a theory, right. and I really, I since, uh, really... I don't. Want, I didn't want to put yeah, you, you in see, that situation. Theory... I, but hold on to, 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 to continue. What with, did you mean by biorhythm? Well, biorhythms is everything that you do in life um, coordinates with something else that would happen. Like if that's every not for every well for every action, there's a reaction, so to speak, <laughs> and that's what biorhythms. Yeah, exactly. Biorhythms. But hold on. It, in regards to Beth, I, I just don't want her. You know, Beth knows me as well. I think to a certain extent. Really? Don't don't take this. I, I mean, I'm, it's hard for me to explain this. Beth, don't take it so personal. It's just a theory I have about no, Howard, want, you see, you and it has nothing to do with a Beth. wedding. Is the most important day Absolutely. in a girl's life. She's never been married before. This is this is this is like her big day. Yes, and she wants to share it with only people she's comfortable with. I'm going to explain it to and you. And people who are wishing her well. And right. I do wish her well. And having a creep like you there was a big leap for her because she felt, you know what, you work with me, and uh, I'm going to do this for my future husband, and uh, you know maybe this will be nice. And I agreed. And mm -hmm. then you go and right. and then you open get, your big yap again. And then you're like, geez, subconsciously they want me to fuck up their wedding. Well, and not they. Like, again, I was looking at you, and I, yeah, I know me. she's okay. I and know whatever. I, and it's like if you're having that thought, that means you're starting to think, gee, what do I need to do to please Howard? You know what's interesting? You're insane. He thinks that you talked Beth into inviting him. It was really something she did. I don't, because, I don't think that. Do you live in my head? How would you know that? Because you're saying Howard secretly wants you to do something. Howard didn't invite Be you. Uh, well, how do you know that? I know it. Well, whatever the case may be, <clears throat> the point I'm trying to make is <laughs> oh, God. I'm getting all choked Just up here. Die. <laughs> Thanks. Do us all a favor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who would want somebody to screw up their wife? Jim was so right yeah, to I know. Well, like, subconsciously, <laughs> I want him to fuck up I my I can't wedding. wait to high-five Jim when I see him. Ah, good, I'll good, snip his it, fingers first, it, and I'll high-five him. Jesus. Uh, anyway. And Nick, you're on the die. air. <laughs> yeah. Then, I, then I could die in peace. <laughs> Nick, you're on the air. You'll die happy. Subconsciously, you want Sal to be your best man at the wedding. Right. Ah, <laughs> Sal's already, ah. Sal already figured that out. <laughs> see, I'm smart enough to realize that's not the case. Sal, why can't you just tell Howard you're going to be on your best behavior? I, yeah. But I am. I'm going to be. I just no, you're had... not. You're having thoughts. No, that no. I'm secretly Bad sending thoughts. you messages subconsciously. No, to do it's a something. theory. It's a theory. That's all it uh, is. I and, see. That, and, and you have to remember, well, Howard. Good. It's only based on the history of the show, and that's the only thing I was looking at. But I'm not going to do anything. Uh, what history I do of the respect... show are you referring to? Where I had people fuck up my life? Well, every time. Me? Uh, well, every time. No, every time. You're, there's an you're, an, you're, you're a depraved fan. That's I, all. No, I'm not. You are. You're insane. No, I'm not. Every time. James, go ahead. You're on the air. Howard, this motherfucker. Good God. Uh, the whole reason you were getting married was because people like him disrespecting Beth. And now that you're getting married to her, he's still not uh, respecting her. No. You're going you're gonna to have to fire somebody and make them believe you mean business. I know. I <laughs> oh, shut up. Listen, this That's guy, you totally, you totally, you to, sir, you're totally off the mark. This has nothing to do with Beth. You're it was just a theory. It's a wedding. 
Yeah, but it's her wedding, and, and, and you know what? She's entitled to the greatest day of her life. She's a sweet person, and I'm grateful oh that she was considerate enough to allow me to go. I mean, that's a very magnanimous thing to do. All right. But, but, you, well, but, but, but the, again, what you just said in want... that last 20 minutes soliloquy, you said, with Beth listening, obviously, you said, uh, the show's more important to Howard right. than Beth. No, is. in my mind. Oh, he loves to just well, do Howard that. Howard no, said that. On. You've said that in the past. No, I'm he only... has. Yes, no, he, he has. Matter of fact, you said the direct opposite. He said the uh, direct opposite. I don't know. That well, is extremely important to me. Yes, I and I agree. More important than anything. So just cut it out. You're being absurd. He's not getting okay. married to do something for the show. I know that. I didn't put her initial on my finger because uh, I'm not in love with her. And I know that too. And right. I, and uh, I know Gary, why you're on love. the air. Hello. Yes. I think that Sal has a very negative personality. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> really All he has to do is look at his relationship with Artie and how everything went down. All the good shit that Artie did for him. Right. And how he ended up repaying him by being a total asshole later on. I think that if you let him in a wedding, every little thing that happens at the wedding, like where you sit him and where you sit other people, I think that like like uh, like Fred said later on, that's the kind of. I'm shit sitting him next to out. Fred, so Fred will keep an eye on him. <laughs> <laughs> I will Poor punch you. Fred. No, but it's not even what he's going to do that day. I Howard. just want to right. swear well, somewhere down the line. Listen. Somewhere down the line, and I'm actually trying to do you a favor, so whether you whether you realize it or not, I'm trying to protect you from doing something I incredibly agree, dumb. I, well, I it's, agree it's with Fred. Same, that's kind of where I'm coming from. Yeah. I mean, like me and Sal had issues, but me and Sal are friendly now. We worked everything out. Everything's cool, and I was wrong in that too. I think, but. I'm coming where, where, where Fred's coming from right now. I really think, Sal, and it's real seriously that it's better for you and everybody not to. Because you're really overthinking you this. Well, well, something think, weird yeah, might yeah, happen. Well, Artie's right. You have yeah. weird thoughts. You even it's ruined your weird. wife's uh, New Year's Eve party by turning off the TV during the midnight countdown. Right. Like, like you can't control yourself. Yeah, but you know what? Who wants to see that stupid, lame people? Ball ball people, people I mean, is, is people this what, at that party? Right. Your wife did. But you know what? It made the event. <laughs> I mean, that's how I look at it. Your wife can't the event. stand you. She's going to other guys to get emotional support. <laughs> how does that make the event? She's like, I just want to be with a guy who's not retarded. Howard? Yeah. Did yeah. he get kicked out of a Passover Seder for doing something? Yeah, yes, he did. Yes, he yes. fucked up there, too. Right. And, what he, did he, thought, and he thought he was, thought was doing, doing something nice. He I'm thought he was doing something Tell nice, too. It was a Seder. We read from the pamphlet. We, were, we read all that stuff and uh, the prayers and whatnot. And then at the end, I was so impressed with the Jewish religion. <laughs> <laughs> that I had no idea about it. That I raised my glass in honor to the Jews, and I said, I'm officially a Jew for Jesus. <laughs> now, I didn't know Jews for Jesus actually condemned Why do you always have the to Jewish... say something? Why I didn't can't know... you just sit and relax? Because I wanted to do something nice. It was uh, my way of extending my can't Catholic... you say this was a beautiful ceremony? And, and as someone who has never seen one of these before, I'm and very honored to be here. Boom. Extending my Catholic what? <laughs> I was extending my Catholic b uh, beliefs and trying to mend it with the Jews. I was very mend impressed. It. But I was... <laughs> it was just a... a Seder? It, it was a sign of endearment. That's all it was. All right. I'm sorry. I mean, and in that's what words, I get. You're, you're so, you seem so, to be misunderstood. So all if the I'm time. negative, I don't want or, you misunderstood at my wedding. Uh, look, you always say I'm stupid. I never believed you. But today I believe you, right. and I finally put two and two together. Yeah, I, I don't even know how to express to you. No, how no, no. Sorry, the, I am the, that we the, the mistake you. that I made was extending my thoughts a little further, just explaining a theory or two. But mm. again, there, are you going to be theorizing during the wedding? No, 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 no nothing. No. So I'm no. afraid. You know what I'm going to do at the wedding? I'm going to sit back, relax, and be happy for two people that are extremely love. No, you're not. All right. Well, Fred's right. Uh, You're in my head. You can't tell me what's in my head. Oh, I, I know You're exactly what's in your head. You're telling him what's in his head. Why can't we tell you what's right. in your head? I didn't tell him what's in his head. I theorized what could be in his head. But I know that's not the case now because <laughs> he explained it to Jeff me. Jeff the drunk, you're on the air. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking moron. Right. Even Jeff Even the Jeff drunk knows. knows. Wow. Jeff's drunk and he knows that. I would, I would, I would find it a pleasure if you invited me. I know you would. That's out of the question. Well, no, some, I'd have Jeff over Sal. Do I know something? Oh, he will do something stupid, but at least it'll be an isolated, contained stupid. At least he's not mean. Right. I won't do nothing stupid. Yeah, and if Jeff drives his house, it's more people to go home right. with him if he's dr if people get drunk. <laughs> No, I mean, I'm telling you, at this point, I trust Jeff more than you. Well, that, that hurts, but that's all right. Um, I'm just back Jeff here. Jeff should take time out of a busy day to make this call, Sal. You got to think about it. That's true. <laughs> I just, I feel bad for you and Beth putting you in an awkward position. That wasn't my intent. Fred that's all I want to say. I'm sorry to Beth. All right. And that's it. Because, all right, thank you. you. Do you know, think Fred and Artie don't want you there because subconsciously they're jealous of the attention you're going to get from the no, stuff you do? please <laughs> stop it. All right. That's a good theory, though. No. That's so stupid. I Who, think that's in your head. No, that's not in my all head right, at all. Thank you. 
And, uh, you know, me I, and Fred are going to be in the corner. Why don't I think of getting naked and sitting on the yeah. You know, you have to remember, I <laughs> what am. What can we do to I am very this grateful for this. Sal's so smart. He got, he got, he made the wedding by getting naked and sticking his cock in, in Beth's <laughs> ear. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then, during the toast. To Mark Consuelo. Oh, and that anti-Semitic toast. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It's unbelievable. And we man. need the chocolate bandit mask on Mark Consuelo. I don't know. You, I'm such a nice guy. I keep getting you sucked into your stupid well, universe. It's, it, you're not There's a, something wrong with you're me. You're a smart guy. I wish my therapist would return. <laughs> He's gone for the month. Is he really? This yeah. is why this I happened. I could talk to you. Yeah, this is why it happened. He <laughs> kept me. He said, you don't want Sal there. They leave in August, therapist. Um... I just want to say I'm sorry for putting you both in an awkward position. I am grateful. Yeah, and I'm not sure. And you have and to remember, I, I, can I say something? I know I'm on the fence. I, 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 I'm, I'm really, that. I'm going to come to you privately and probably oh, ask don't. you not to come to the wedding. Please don't do that. I'm going to do I, it. Beth is already requested. I know, and that's fine. Yeah. And you, you have to that's understand. When I do, sale, just, just oh, be a man gonna, about it. That's going to be playing in his head, too. But you have to understand how it, prior to the invitation. I tried my best. I, I, I can't know. have you there. I, I realize it's a I mistake. mean, prior to the invitation. Yeah. I came on the air and I said, I understand I have to suffer right. the consequences. I did something wrong. And right. I walked away from it. So, yeah. And we invited you. And now, as soon as we did that, we're But I just had it. a theory that you want something a little no, kooky to happen. No, I don't. It, but that <laughs> was just... Your theory scared me because and you that's might all act it on it. No, I won't. But I won't. Yeah, but you, you might know have me. if I hadn't interceded. But I was smart enough to tell you I had a thought of a theory. You said, don't do it. And now but I'm not. But you still think that's my theory. But it's not. It's just a theory. Which yeah, but is, you still think I think that. And that's no, what scares me. No, no, I don't think that at all. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. We got a question. So, in, in, when you were theorizing that Howard wanted to do something, did you did you come up with any ideas of what you might have done? No, it doesn't. Didn't even go that far. What do you think he could for? do? Nothing. What could you do? Tell me the stunt you could pull. Nothing. I couldn't listen. It's your wedding. No. Would you rub your cock on the no. fruit? <laughs> no. <laughs> you did that at Artie's birthday. <laughs> uh, did you really? Yeah. No, I didn't. He did rubbed not. his cock all over the fruit. Oh, stop. No, Tell the truth. Did he really? <laughs> Tell I the didn't truth. know George Piquet was there. The sausage and peppers I made for Artie at his beach house party, I smacked my uh, dick on the hero. Wait a minute. Yeah. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Did you really? No, Sal? no, 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 no. Sal, you remember what I said when I, I ate know. that you sandwich, said, you motherfucker? He said to me six times, don't fuck with my sandwich. And sausage and, and peppers. And you slapped your cock on it. Tell him the Sal, truth. Sal, did you do that? No. Uh, I, I wish you? I could you... pull his leg, but he'll kill me. No, no, I, I, I won't I, kill you. I'll just no, you know, because I, I said I was going to say even close. you were very nice in my house, but this is a different thing with his wedding. It's in your head. It's too crazy now. It, it, no, I didn't do that to you, you're hero. Nuts. Joking with you guys. All right, no, I believe you, but you know, whatever. I would never do that. And. Again, um, whatever the consequences are, they are. Again, it was little The, the consequences theory. are, I don't want you to come. Ugh. There it is. We're, we're putting it out on the table. That's awful. It's well, probably, Sal, it's just a big mistake. You got to get that through your head, Sal. I mean, Beth already made that decision. Yeah, yeah. and I, I feel very bad. And I, I'm, you know, Beth, if you're listening, I'm very sorry. And that wasn't but my why intent. Would you Again, sabotage Contrary. yourself like this. Yeah. You were on the. You almost didn't get invited. Right. Why would you think of anything? You were flying under the radar, and you put yourself back on the radar. Right. And I was, I was deliberately flying under the radar out of respect to Howard and Beth, and it was their special and day, and I made a mistake. Continued. Yeah. And then once I got it, <clears throat> I just had again a theory. Really, no relevance to Beth, but now I see the but big you, picture. But you completely forgot how you almost didn't get invited. Yes. As soon as the invitation came, my my mind was just like wiped like a clean slate. And right. Yeah, but you know, and I was happy. I you know, and uh, you know, I was, Stephen, I was you're on the air. Really honored to be a part of it. And then I realized how I fucked it up because I started thinking of these things. But yeah. I, I was honest enough to tell you what my thoughts were. Yeah. Uh, well, that's good. Not Stephen. that I wanted to act upon them. <laughs> Steven, you're on the air. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm really, I, I, I'm I like listening listen. to, I, let me put it I'm in listening, perspective. I'm listening to myself and it's just coming off so wrong. It's not even close. Now you're like everybody else. <laughs> you know, I just not, wanted to say something. I enjoy working with you. Thank you. I got no problem with you. I'm glad you joined the show many years ago. Thank you, Howard. But I think to, to put our lives together in a personal way, you know, to, to, to attempt this is probably suicidal. Yeah. Abbott well, and Costello did not get like each other. Right. So well, in other words, let's let's keep it professional. And I will. And so don't come to the wedding. Do me a favor. <laughs> I want you to bow out now. I want you to say, I don't want to come. Well, yeah. I want to come, but out of respect to Beth and you, if you don't want me to come and it makes you feel better, I uh, certainly will not that's, come. That's, that's because nice Beth at least deserves that. If your wife wants to come, that's fine. I could, no, I'll send her for no. real. <laughs> I will send her without me because I feel bad now for her because, you know, it's not right. But Why should she miss it? My wife should co could go as Artie's date. No, but Sal, if your wife really did go, that's, that's, Steven, that's bad for what's the marriage. On your, yes, Gary. <laughs> no, it's, it's great would, for the marriage. Would, would anybody like club. to see a small video clip of uh, Sal rubbing his penis on fruit outside Artie's birthday party? Oh, yeah, wait, the see. pumpkin. 
You're talking about the pumpkin thing. Yeah, Ralph took this video. We showed uh, Howard and we discussed this. This, this was at a fruit stand. Right, okay. But I mean, but still, like, you're at Why Marty's you birthday party. Like, but that was afterwards. I was with Ralph. We had a few drinks. He's, and, you know, I saw the pumpkins there and I wanted to smack my penis on it. That is totally unrelated to any <laughs> weddings, parties, events. That's Let me outside. Uh, that's a party. party. Okay, party it's my over. party. We're, we're, Party but was over. It's a party Howard threw. Yes, it Howard was. Howard rented it was a out that party. place. So okay? if you, it's a big night, a busy night. You're representing the party. Right, Howard, you got arrested you're for outside. doing that. Why would and you, you do get arrested? That? And the headline said, "Howard Stern employee arrested at party that Howard threw." How would you feel? It will say Howard's name big, yeah, and your name would be feel, nowhere. <laughs> I would feel terrible. Mm. You wouldn't feel terrible. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you, <laughs> you would feel terrible. No, no, no. I would. I would feel terrible. Well, it was a funny little goofy thing Sal, you did outside. Sal, People have done these Sal, things. when I invite you to something, keep your penis. Forget it. This isn't going to no, work. No, I do. The, you're see, retarded. Gary's Gary's instigating this. Oh, this is an old thing. And why would you touch some pumpkins that people have to handle with your penis? I, I, it was just a spur of the moment thing. Ralph had the video camera on. We were laughing. We see, were looking right. at the pumpkins. See, that's the thing. Somebody's gonna be there with a picture. Somebody's no. gonna be there with a video camera. He's gonna do something dumb. No, I'm not. Look again. Your birthday party. Your engagement party. Party, our, how, uh, Artie's house party. I've been a gentleman to all this stuff. I, I, I'm going to. Let's be. not go crazy. I've well, been. No, but there's examples <laughs> the other way. Look, look at that. Like, that's I mean, not even. That's not even funny. I mean, Bubba's <laughs> funny. But I know someone it's not. Told no, it's me, never someone funny. told me you have to see this pumpkin video to believe the, the, how ridiculous it is. But <laughs> let me just say something. <laughs> I heard at Christine's, your wife's friend's wedding, you stripped down to your underwear and danced in the middle of the floor. True or false? There's a story behind that, though. Is it true oh, or false? Oh, my God. <laughs> true you or false. admitted to this, and you humped the bridesmaid, right? No, so I didn't hump a bridesmaid. True, true or false? <laughs> it's true, but... Okay. That's but, it. But this That's has, it. Hold on, Howard. This was I a long... Want, they wanted him to do it. Right. See? They didn't want... No. <laughs> they wanted him to this do is it. What Everybody wanted him to do it. This is what happened. Subconsciously, they, they, they wanted They did the conga line thing, and the DJ handed out boxer shorts and hats to the guys, and the guys took off their shirts. I took off my shirt, too, with the rest of the conga line, but they were out of boxer shorts. So as a goof, I dropped my pants and showed my real boxer shorts. All right. And well, that's the, what happened. And was it your wife Shitty really angry? Wedding, She's huh? always angry. It's in her nature. Don't you think it's interesting that your wife's... So maybe it's you. It's not your wife that's the problem. Maybe. She's always angry because you're fucking up all the time. I don't mean to fuck up. That's the problem. My intent's See, always you good. You don't know that you're doing it. And were you a gentleman at Artie's Pizza Party? No. You're fucking... I turn around and you're in this nice fucking restaurant. They've never opened this restaurant for just one person before. They did me a favor. I turn around. You're <laughs> over at the pizza equipment. Jesus. They're nice enough to let you make a pizza. You take it and you start throwing shit okay. in the restaurant at Scott the Pace. Right. And 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 dude, there it is. There and the Scott, video. Did, you know, Scott didn't start that. He reacted, which dude, I would have. But um, it's a reflection on me. Like, oh, they right. had the party and they were disrespectful to the pizzeria and all that kind of. And shit. it's a famous place. Like, like believe me, they're looking for stories like that, especially with Howard's yeah, name with right. that. And outside, you're fucking a pumpkin. Yeah, and you put <laughs> like, your cock on pumpkins. I don't even understand that. Well, Ryan, do we need to tell that one more wedding story? Did you go to Billy Mira's wedding, commandeer the microphone, and start singing filthy songs about what you want to do to his wife? Yes, I did do that. I had a lot of oh, alcohol you can't, me. you can't not invite Sal now. Mm. No, Sal, you're out of control. He's no one well, you know, what, you know what, maybe... We want to have, like, a classy dinner for our friends. And, this is not... It's not... You know what? You're not even missing out on anything. It's right. not even going to be that good. Well, maybe this is an epiphany for yeah. me, and I'll consider this uh, a wake-up call. That... Have you ever behaved at a wedding? Yes. No. no. There's not one example. Mine. I was How were you invited to that? <laughs> All right. Thank but you. But I'm sorry. Thanks. And, uh, Thanks. Consider bowing out and saving me the aggravation okay. of having to tell uh, you, you know not what? to come. You've made me see the light. Thank you. I'm sorry for extending my thoughts and being honest. And uh, I you. will bow out of the wedding. Thank and I apologize you. to Beth right. if she took offense to anything. All right. Thank you. <laughs> he's insane. I don't know. What is he doing? He's just he's just got this compulsion. Yeah. Look, I, I I'm it's an a sickness. I'm an inappropriate slob. He makes me feel so good about myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know something. I mean, jeez. But you know nothing. what? It's actually I, like, I, I really do agree with Fred. It's really better off for him. This is fine. Yeah. Just, whatever. Yeah. You know what? It's He'll like, keep working here. He does good work here. Just stay away from the other shit. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I like the guy. Yeah. That's the crazy thing. I'm trying in the worst way to invite him. Because he's admitting now. He goes, mm -hmm. I, I, that he did has, happen. Yeah. I got drunk. Someone no. uh, provoked me with a camera. He has no bar. boundaries. Right. There's no boundaries. No. Right. And, and now then he's going to get around all of us, and he's going to like go berserk. At my and, little... and then he always, what he always does is he'll go ahead, he'll do his stupid thing. Right. And then it's like he'll beg for forgiveness. But in the meantime, 
he's already on the way home going, how proud he is that he got away with it again. And now he's right. got me thinking, at my get-together, like Sal said, Art, let me make you a sausage and pepper sandwich. I'm so good at it. And you know what? He made me a great sandwich. But I said, Sal, listen to me. You, I better not find out later you, you like, came in this. Or yeah, you put a I pubic hair in there. And now... I, I, I was, think he rubbed his dick Yeah, now that. I'm thinking that. Yeah. What might have happened? Hey, Artie, but how was the provolone? <laughs> my point is, how can you have the guy... You were supposed to be thinking about Beth on that day. Right. I'll be not thinking about Sal. Sal. Right. Yeah, that, he that's a good that. point, too. Yeah, who put needs Sal that? Put Sal in the wedding dress. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> He'd want that. <laughs> Sal. What happens? You play a bit on the air. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk. Let's talk. No, I don't want to talk Come anymore on. about this. Come hey. on. <laughs> you definitely crossed that line. You yeah, said right. You didn't want to, and you did. Yeah. Actually, I, I really do agree with Are you surprised that? Uh, uh, you surprised yeah. by Beth? By you know, Beth's, uh, you know, no, no, I totally get where Beth's coming from. I mean, you know, it just got a little out of hand. I, I know. I just, I don't know. Uh, it just gonna, it just stinks. You know? Are you gonna try to reach out to her and apologize? I did, and it, you know, if I if I were to call her up, it would seem forced. You know, I, I you know, I don't know. Oh my god, did I fuck up? So you really you can't go now, really? It's not even so much that I can't go. I think the right thing for Beth would for me not to go. You know, I just it would be for me to bow out out of respect to her. You know. I really don't, I, I mean, the last thing I wanted is for this poor girl to start thinking, oh my God, what is this guy going to do? That wasn't my intent. I just kind of wanted to, you know, as like I said, I was just jerking around with Howard a little bit. And, uh, you know, sometimes these things backfire on you. You know, that's what happened. He's not coming down here, is he? Oh, Robin, I'm such a fuck up. <laughs> you did that Either that way, was still trying to figure it that out. was what how long were you invited about 48 hours <laughs> well, you know what, Robin, Robin, he can clear the air on the wrap-up show and i'm no. sure everything will be oh, fine yeah, he'll, straighten he'll straighten it all out on the wrap-up right show. right after the show <laughs> Amazing. what do i do robin you're smart Look, I, I have to be you the gotta, great you gotta just be quiet. I'm gonna shut my fucking mouth. Because you, if I tell you to go do something, you'll fuck it up. You, you, all you had to do. You get it though. You get it. All you had to do was be quiet. I know. You don't say everything that comes into your head. If, if stupid things like that are coming into your head, you definitely don't say everything that's coming into your head. I guess that's what officially makes me stupid. <laughs> Like retards would speak out loud. That's right. Like a retard would say, I want to eat a, a, a shoe. Right. You know? <laughs> You're getting it now. I'm getting You're it. You're actually getting it. I'm such a fuck up. Oh. Like me, only me. Why? Why did you even say it? Why did you even bring it up? Me, John. I was jerking around with Howard. Sure. It was you a little... But you can't jerk around about this because you put thoughts in people's heads. It's now, true. even though you have no intention of doing something like that, right? It doesn't matter. Now the they're thinking there. twice. I know. The thought's there. I know. And that's crazy. Hi, I'm Christine. I'm Sal's wife. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Exactly, exactly. The funniest part out of all of this, this is, is all the, the this serving is, table. This is the serving table. You're eating at the serving table. You can't eat here. Why not? You're not supposed to eat here. My name is Paul, Uncle Paul, and they call him the show, whatever. What do you want to know? Tell me what do you want to know. This guy's peeing outside on my fucking driveway. What? There's two bathrooms inside. Come over here. What are you doing out there? What are you doing here? I'm taking fresh air. You want to eat on the car? Yeah, why not? I got a piece of cotton. Solid, 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 block. I got a piece of cotton. I got a piece of all you got. Paul. Wow. You're pissing on my driveway. No, all, all you got, I got a piece. I got to wash it up and out. You're pissing on my driveway. No, you car. can't do that. You can't. You got to do the car. You can't pee in the drive. Pee in the house. Oh, my God. I don't Please. pee nothing. Thank you so much, Mark. I still got a little bit long. How about a piece of the driveway? Wash it up. You know what I mean? Sterilize. Because you got a lot of mosquito over here. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm.
Misty Hourston, oh Misty Hourston, you got it such a beautiful show. The new generation, they love you. What are you thinking? What are you say? What are you doing? That's honest, the truth. Did you just pee in my cousin's driveway? Yes, why not? That's fucking disgusting. Call your police! Your breath smells like shit! Oh, oh, oh. I cannot believe you! You're a disgrace! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. You're disgusting, you piss in a driveway. Use the bathroom like you even know. My name's Chrissy, and I'm cousin Chrissy. I'm Sal's cousin. My father and his mother are brother and sister. Oh, what a little bit. Not be shut up. Sal's always been crazy. Always, as long as I can remember. I remember him listening to the Beastie Boys up in his room. He thought he was one of them. It was freaking great. It was awesome. I'm here at Sal's parents' home in Long Island. Sal's family's here. Uh, his family is, uh, believe it or not, a little weird. They actually make him seem normal. We just want to see your penis. We just want to see your penis. Come on, let's see your penis. So it's a little wrinkled. You got white hair. You got sandy balls. Let's see your penis. He's got a nice uncircumcised penis. Come on, whip it out. Uncircumcised? And it looks just like a piece of prosciutto on a buffet table. What's the difference? And uh, I'm here with Lance Rodman from Howard 100 News. How are you, everyone? And uh, we're here to document a uh, New Year's Eve party at Sal the Stockbroker's house, uh, at his parents' house with his wife here. Hi. As you can see, hold on. This is, this is the kids in the background, so we're going to shut the door. And now my wife's going to take over. Hi, I'm Christine, Sal's wife, and I'm going to give you a little tour of our New Year's Eve party. This is um, my mother-in-law's apartment, I guess, house apartment, sort of. This part's not important. This, stuff, this part's not important. This is my husband bossing everyone around as usual. I'm trying to get you to do this. Just, I am. Just sit, stand in front of the door. Stand over here. Say hi. This is Christine. Christine, you say hi. This is Christine. This is the New Year's Eve party. Follow me. Give me a tour. Can you shut it off for one second? No. So come on in and meet the Governale clan. Everybody seems hey, to be hey. And this is the room where you can smoke in, which is pretty cool. Because look at the, I found the ashtray. Uh, if you can see that, that's all cigarette butts. Isn't that, isn't that a thing of beauty? I heard that you took a piss on John Piero's car when you pulled up here. Oh, yeah, that's just true. You know what? You know what? 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 Hey, so that would be a bit of a tell him. That takes the other kid. Oh, my God, I want to get up. I can't even get up anymore. So I got, I got a piece of this and this, so this stuff, I can't even move. Oh, it's a piece of my car. I said, what are you doing? I said, I'm pissing. I said, come on, don't piss in my car. I said, don't worry about it. It's getting washed because it's raining. Hey, now go buy a car. I want a piece of this. I want a car. I want a car. Yeah, but he's pissed off. He's pissed off. He pissed off. He pissed off. He pissed off. He pissed off. Thank God this rain is the wash is getting washed. He said the rain is going to wash away the piss. The rain is going to wash away the piss. That's all. Actually, I think right now, Joey Boots is going to take a shit. Well, actually, it's an upper decker. He's going to take an upper decker. Yeah. What's that? That's actually when you shit in the back tank of the toilet, then flush it, and it in turn comes right back up through the bowl. It's 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 something to behold. It's a it's a, a very impressive feat made famous by Jim Florentine yes. and Don Jameson. Uh, but uh, yes, the upper decker is going to try and do that in Sal's uh, mom's bathroom, which is off limits for this party for everyone, and especially Joey Boots. So stick around. This is going to be an interesting night. I'm trashed already, man. I'm hungover from last night. I've been going since yesterday, man. On very, very little sleep, if none. I'm ready for another night of debauchery, man. Wait, who the hell are you asking something about that car? You what about your car? I'll show you my car. Go ahead, take it out. Let's see your tits. Right 
You know, if you don't know, I told you. Cornuto, me, your wife, you do something like that. <laughs> the penis About my penis? Yeah. <laughs> I thought do, nobody Randy. knew that I had that sex change operation, <laughs> but evidently it's out now. There you go. So I got nothing to hide. <laughs> Any chance Anymore. you can show the titties? <laughs> Easy, that's my aunt. Why? I, I can ask her for it. I'll show you mine. Let me tell you something. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I'm Salasongo, Nick. I don't know. Everybody wants to show that dick. <laughs> I think everybody got drunk. They don't know what to say. They're crazy. Come on, show your titties. Hey, that's my wife. No, stop Why? it now. No, you can't ask my mom. I just did. No, that's not how. She <laughs> appreciates it. I, I want to see them. <laughs> All right, now. That'd be the day when you see them. <laughs> what else? Huh? This, this is Rosa. Hi, sir. The famous Rosa. Yeah. 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 Look, see? Nice. Oh, yeah. Show your titties. Beautiful. Show your titties. Oh, show your titties. Oh, Show your titties. Come on, come on. I want to see the titties. Come on, yeah. Come on. 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 All I could say is, thank God, my wife is downstairs right now with the kids, or I'd be divorced right now. I've never asked my aunt to whip out her cock, ever, in the history of my life. So, it's all good, right, Uncle Paulie? You're right, you're right. But, you know, look at that. And here we have Mike Fischetti. Hi. How you guys doing? Happy and holidays. Sal, thanks for being a great friend of me since day one, and I'm doing great stuff. Thanks for you. Happy holidays, and God bless you. Yeah, I paid him 10 bucks to say that. <laughs> nice 15, that's right. <laughs> this is Super Twink cast here. We had a great time right there. Really course. proud of these guys. They were all in Super Twink. They were all willing to commit to themselves and be completely naked and do things that most men wouldn't do. And never get a decent night's sleep again, by the way. And fortunately, we found guys with absolutely no dignity, no morals, no humility. No values. No values. <laughs> Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. I'm making us do a jello shot. All right, you ready? All right, so I'm going to do a jello shot. Yeah! She's kicked out the soul song. Go, you're going to get some of this. Come on, do it, do it. Chug, 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 chug. The great Richard Christie's here, everybody. How much do I owe you? <laughs> see, he told you you get lucky here today. <laughs> sure, you want to see? Ready? <laughs> oh, <holy shit. laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've dropped my balls on men's faces, and even that impresses me. <laughs> yeah, hold her hand, hold her hand, hold her hand. Uncle Paulie just took a piss outside on the driveway. <laughs> Hold her hand. Ah! Oh! Oh! I got it. 
gonna fish you gun. I'm gonna fish your mouth. I want you to zoom in on Uncle Paulie's crotch. It's loaded with piss. Oh my god. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, now I want you two to hug. No, no thanks. No, 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 no. I don't know. Give him a kiss, Uncle Paulie. And give a kiss oh, to my baby. No, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. Oh, Joey, Joey, you know what? You know what Uncle Paulie loves? He loves when somebody shakes his uh, zipper. Shake his zipper, Joey. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey. <laughs> Come on, look, stop. Get out of here. I'm Pat, Sal's mother in law. There you go. This is my great mother in law. This is the lady that made my wife, so I'm not exactly sure if I like her or not. Hey. <laughs> Happy New Year! All right. Now, now make now chug that. Chug it. Chug. 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 Richard Christie got here. Things are getting crazy. Uncle Pauly pissed in his pants. Joey Boots tried to get my mother to flash her tits. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I'm missing a lot downstairs. My wife's just downstairs, just cutting everybody off. No, I'm it's not my wife. cutting anybody off. I'm babysitting. Hey, my wife is going crazy, as you can see. She's she's ready to have a uh, a 25 man anal gangbang. Right? She's she's ready to have a uh, a 25 man anal gang bang. Not even fine. I told you I'm sorry. What the hell? Jesus. It's terrible. Things happen. You know what I'm saying? Sal wanted his wife to get gang banged or something like that, but but my wife really wants to do that. So uh, Christine already Sal's wife is not speaking to Sal. She's downstairs in the lower level with the kids uh, taking care of them. <laughs> Still babysitting. So when my husband says how much work he does at home, this is what he's doing. Nothing. Sister. I just want to let you know that Howard, they're real and they're spectacular. And there's my dad. Oh my god, you know what? This party's officially over. I've had it. Oh, well, I didn't know my father was standing behind me when I was showing my boobs. So, yes, they are real. <laughs> So I'm a little embarrassed. I can't look at my father right now. So here's the update. My wife's not talking to me. Uh, I said, any 25 anal gangbang, she's pissed off. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on, to tell you the truth. I'm trying to keep everything together here. Um, there's good people here. The good Billy Mirror just arrived. Uh, Richard Christie's here, a few other people. So it's a good time, but uh, I'm a little worried about my wife. She's pissed off, right? She's pissed, she's pissed off, off, she's pissed off, off right? right? Sal's wife's here, the kids are here, we're going to be talking to Sal's mom and dad, his wife, uh, his different Where's Sal's cousins, wife? Show and, me your tits! Uh, what'd you say, Joey? Sal's wife, show me your tits! All right, Christine, maybe later we'll let's ask see them tits! Comes in here. Joey, has, Joey has already walked around yelling at Sal's family. Uh, yeah. Uncle Polly kind of looks like Ernest Borgnine a little bit. Uh, Actually, with, uh, Joey Boots, can you describe what Uncle Polly looks like? A little big fat Q-tip. 
All right, that was another way of putting it, I guess. Uh, he's with tits. A right. Q-tip with tits. Right. He's wearing a big, like a fat Cliff Hutchins sweater. Q-tip with tits you know with a piss like? stain on his pants. You know what I look like this guy's imagination up? Oh, yeah, go ahead. He looked like a little, a little pretty girl. <laughs> a foot in his soul. You want to fuck me? You want to fuck me? You want to fuck me? <laughs> you want to fuck me? Yeah. Let me see your dick. Pull it out. Pull it out. Let me see your dick. All right, Let me see your cock. This is getting heated. Let me see your cock. As you can see, Pull it out. the vein is ever <laughs> Yeah, Sal and Richard, oh, eat your heart oh, out. Put it right here in my hand. And Put people, your cock right here. Right, 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 right. Come on. And people were worried about the gay antics from Richard and Sal. No one yeah. even saw this coming. Take it to a whole other Bible. We're having a ball. Sal's family. Christine. Christine, let's see your tits. All right, all right. Now I'll show you my tits. Now let's see the tits. You ready? No, you can't watch. Yeah, hold on. All right, you ready? Here we go. We just had a member of Sal's family flash us their breath. Welcome to the Bernalli's New Year's Eve. You want to see him again? Ready? Touch him! How do I know Sal? We're good friends, best friends for years. This is sexy. Another uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yet, it's fine. Uh, just boozing it up, doing some jello shots. Um, getting ready for midnight. I don't know who I'm gonna kiss. I might even kiss you. So you better watch out at midnight, because huh? I'm gonna kiss somebody, goddammit. I'm gonna kiss Mike Machete at midnight. We're kissing at midnight. Yes. Let's practice. Let's practice. Practice. Come on. No, no, Mike. Everybody look at me, Mike. I'm still down here with the kids. My husband, who is going to be helping me 50-50 with the kids, hasn't come, shown up yet. I'm not sure if he's here. He might have left. So here's the deal. After a lot of begging and pleading and stupid jokes, my wife has forgiven me. Thank God. I'm grateful. Everybody's <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Everybody's partying. Uh, Chrissy is singing karaoke without a microphone. Nothing will stop her. Uncle Paulie pissed his pants. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. Um, my cousin Chrissy flashed her boobs to the camera before for serious radio. Um, That's a serious problem. <laughs> yeah. She won't let go of that joke. And But I will let go of you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Is the fuse box. Guys, what you see here is the fuse box. When the countdown starts tonight, in the middle of the count, I will kill the entire power on the house. <laughs> Nobody will see the ball drop. Nobody will see shit for New Year's Eve. Right here. It's never a good night without a good old-fashioned prank. So tonight, we kill the power for New Year's Eve on the countdown. I don't know. I'm going to kiss Mike at midnight. No, That's no, my only no. resolution. <laughs> no, no, right, Mike. Mike. All right, Mike. Come on, Mike. No, no, I'm okay, Mike. Come on, Mike. <laughs> don't let Super Twink fool you. Come on. Don't let Super Twink fool you. That doesn't give you an idea what kind of party this is. What time is it? What's that? I'm sorry. Somebody's licking my <laughs> ear. <laughs> what time is it? It's almost midnight, so. I'll get to everybody. They'll wait their turn. As these lips are made for kissing. <laughs> I'm here with Richard Christie, and this is the Governor Alley's New Year's Eve party! Let's go! It's a big, big night! I'll tell you, man, this is it. In a few minutes, the ball's gonna drop, and then Richard's gonna drop And then my balls are gonna drop right. on his face. That's right. Uh, we're all getting ready for the big countdown. We had a lot of fun. Joey Boots are over here, already uh, tackled Uncle Paulie's uh, crotch. That was a lot of fun. Uh, Aunt Camille is still looking for the karaoke tracks that nobody gives a shit about. <laughs> over here's Pepino, my Uncle Pepino over here. And his wife's up in Rio. His wife Rosetta showed her boobs. Show me your tits. Rosetta. You shit your pants? Yeah! <laughs> okay, we'll put it on. All right, we'll see you later. Say goodbye. Say ciao. I want to see the ball like a sheep. He wants to see my balls drop on his face. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Somebody who went through a lot with me, who's been through a lot of tough times. I gave her a lot of grief. Thank you, Richard, Richard. Christie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What the hell is going on here? Fuck yourself. <laughs> what can I tell you? I want to come clean on this whole uh, Long Island psychic thing that's going on with you. Absolutely. Everyone on? tells me you're out of fucking control. I, I, how we it, have a writing meeting, uh -huh. and everyone pitches stuff for the you know for the show. You know, everyone go. Sal's been on a mad tear to get this Long Island psychic on the show, but like in a bizarre way. Like every even if he's pitching something else, it all comes back to like the Long Island psychic. Right. So you you're have, wondering why. You know he's why? So... Primarily, everything like I grew up on Howard. Do you know them? Uh, I, I've met him, yes. They, they're in my neighborhood. I thought the Long Island Psychic is a woman. She is. I, I met her husband. And uh, husband's a huge, huge fan of yours. Loose in the pudding? Of course, as well. But <laughs> wow. um, everything that... Every you know how I feel about psychics, right? That's why. That's why. I think this is the one time that I can do something where I can really change your mind. I really <laughs> sincerely believe that. You idiot. <laughs> You're an imbecile. You know that. <laughs> I, I sincerely believe that this lady is that fast. Yeah, okay. Howard, I went to Westbury Music Fair. 3,000 people. Right. I mean, she would just call out people. I mean, a lady way in the back. And what did she say that blew your mind? Like motorcycle accident yes right on the money um <laughs> what's so funny about that if i said someone in three three thousand years someone had a motorcycle accident don't you think someone in the auditorium had a motorcycle accident i mean the odds are there but for her to specifically pick it out no. pick out the person and i howard i think that this lady really could change your mind i think she could bring some, <laughs> Same I, with I think she would blow everyone away i mean she's been on ellen right, but i don't she's care been on Ope. why I, i've already told you no about the long island psychic and you won't let go of it like there's something did, are you having an affair with the long island psychic it's beautiful. You know, Howard, I, I've never talked about this, but I've always been fascinated with mediums. Even when I was a child, I used so to. So you're read, not in love with her? No, I used to read George Anderson's books. George Anderson was the first one. He used to be on Channel Six. And predict what I'm thinking right now. Same with Tebow. I'm an idiot. No. Go ahead. You can do it. What you're thinking? What am I thinking right now? Tebow's wonderful. I'm thinking you should get the fuck out of the studio. Okay. I, thought that you would, I thought you would know that. <laughs> but, I just got to ask, because this is the big question on everybody's mind. Are you in any way, shape, or form, Sal, getting anything from them, whether it be monetary or anything else? From the I, Long Island Psychic? I swear, I swear my children are on a stack of Bibles. I think this lady's... I watched this lady religiously on Sunday night. What did she tell you? Did she tell you something about no, herself? No, as a matter of fact, she's, she's, she's very apprehensive about coming in. She, she told me <laughs> nothing. I, nev I never asked... She should be. I never asked for a reading. No. 
nothing of the sort. I just, I think that Howard. You want to keep that she's for real. Why is she apprehensive? Well, because you know Howard could, you know, uh, Howard. Howard, Howard hits the hard hit. Howard asks the power. No, he asks the hard hitting questions. He's 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 a tough interview. My powers will take on her powers, and my powers will win. <laughs> That's what's going to happen, Sal. Howard, can I just tell you something? The whole thing about him going to see her at Westbury Music Fair. We sat him down in a meeting and it sort of explained how it works, if you know what I mean. And he goes, "Oh, I understand. He seemed to be off the psychic, but now he's right back on it again." I'm, I'm skeptical. Once you explain something to him, he forgets two minutes later. That's why he doesn't remember anything from school. Like that a dog. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog. Yeah, like, like, like seriously. He, he learned United States history, but he can't remember any of it. There was no need to retain it. <laughs> yeah, well, you're not retaining this. The Long Island psychic is not a psychic. I retain that. I will do what if I if I'm wrong, I'll do whatever you want. Every psychic is if fake. If you're wrong, what what is it? I'll, 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 I'll You'll blow Richard if you're if you're if you're wrong. I won't do that. Yes, you would. No. He did whatever he wanted. I don't know, but I'll, I'll I'd be willing to do something crazy. I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you, Howard, that this lady's absolutely fascinating. So you're going to come in and tell me about myself? I mean, you could look that shit up. Yes, you, you could. No, but, I'll tell you what. I'll pick a homeless fucking guy from the street. Let me hear the Long Island psychic tell. Just tell the tell. Just tell me the guy's name, and then I'll say she's psychic. Okay. She don't have to tell me anything about his future. Just tell me his name. Well, she and if she can do that, oh, that's right. She doesn't get that. Well, no, she talks to the dead. How she'll talk to the like. So let a dead guy tell her this well, guy's name. Well, the dead can't even tell them her who they are. Right. Absolutely, she they can. No, she. Ask. No, 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 no. I've watched this woman on TV. She'll go. Who was? Who was the one who? Who uh, got into? Who died suddenly? And then the person tells her who it is. Right, of course. No, it doesn't you work. You know, Benji was a phone psychic, enough said. Okay. <laughs> he was. He made a lot of money doing it. Really? Yeah. You well, never that's heard a scam. That story? No, I oh, never you think that. so. All right. All right. What is it, Gary? What the fuck is with sound, this psychic thing? Howard, I, I think she's a fascinating person. Will spoke to her, because we were thinking about having her on at one point. Uh -huh. The first thing is, we can't just bring people in. You know what well, I'm saying? For her to work? read, you mean? Yeah, right. we can't bring people in for so her to read. rules. Well, yeah, because you know what? You, you pick up different vibes from different oh. people. And she absolutely needed 45 minutes alone, completely alone, no cameras with the people. With the people. Yeah. What do you make uh, of that, Sal? That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we left him two months ago. Right. We, we told him this. And he yeah, goes, oh, we're wow. Not, we're not interested in leaving people alone with a Long Island psychic for 45 minutes. I, I'm with you on that. And I when like I cold read. I would love. I, I mean, look. Sal, look at me. You, you cold read. Me. I agree. You worship me. Cold. Right? I'm on your you page. You worship me. I'm on the same page. If you would just listen to me about everything, your life would go a lot smoother. And I listen to you about Give 99 your brain over of the time. to me. Your brain's not working well. Why would you listen 99 percent of the time? Because I think yeah, I. Could... What's the one percent on your own that you think you're doing well? <laughs> right. That's a great question. One percent is the shitty area that you get into. That one percent is destroying your life. When you listen to your boff, yeah. everything's fine. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> but Howard, I, I think she's a fascinating all right, guest. All right. Sal, look at me. She's never coming in here. We're not interested in putting her in a room for forty-five minutes with people. Right. It's never going to happen. And you should give up on it. And I will. And but if she's listening and she would would be willing to admit that forty five minute pre interview, could she possibly come in? If she's willing to Im admit that. Omit it. Omit it. Omit. O M I T. Omit, 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 omit. I mean admitting bullshit. Here's the point here's the point, You okay, so you've told him that she's not coming on the show. Right. That will not deter him in any way from on a personal level. Because, you know, he tweeted about her there. That he tweeted. It was so weird. It was yeah. like, hey, Long Island Psychic, like great job on Ellen. Yeah, I watched her. And I, you know. So why are you tweeting it? It's like, why are you promoting her so much? I really sincerely enjoy her. The same way you would promote something from Rolling Stone, for example. I don't I, I don't tweet much. I, don't, I mean, I don't have many interests. I have but the Long, but the I have Long, Long Island Psychic. medium. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Holy I, mackerel. You got to see me. I, I mean, I was embarrassed at Westbury. I had like a box of tissues on my lap. I, <laughs> I, I had to wrap tissues around my fingers because I was so embarrassed. So I would make these finger cots and just dab my eyes constantly. Because you were crying with the Long Island Psychic? I was thing? crying, yeah. What did she say that made you cry? Ah, uh, this stuff she said, how it would just blow you away. I mean, there's a lady in the front row and she said, your son passed away yeah. and you just put a card on his tombstone and the lady almost passed out and I just lost it. I'm like, wow, this is pretty... <laughs> I always wondered who bought that stuff, and now I know. Now you know. Sal.
By the way, in, in the writing meeting there, they also told us that the song Cats in the Cradle makes him cry. So he cries a lot. Cats in the Cradle? Well, having three kids and, you know, playing ball and you don't have time for your children. and then That's a different, isn't it, um, uh, I'm going to be like right. you, Dad? That's the one you cry. In other words, you're, no, that's the one, Cats in the Cradle. But yeah, you're is that Cats in the Cradle? Yeah, but you're a good father, so why are you crying? I'm a good father because, well, because the way I grew up, I mean... I don't get along well with my dad, and I don't want my children out of I don't blame your dad. Who can fucking tolerate you? Thank you. Honestly. Uh, well, no, I don't your, know. Dad, your dad decided to have a kid. He didn't know it was going to be you. <laughs> he was hoping for something. He had, like a, he had a lot more than me. He was <laughs> they're all over the country. <laughs> uh, my uncle it. got... I got are, they all right? like, are they all fans of the Long Island Psychic? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but maybe I want the Psychic to here to find out if I have a, a, other siblings out there, you know? Right. Do you think you do? Yeah, I do. I do. I met one of my siblings in a casket. One of them died. You know, my dad got a call one day at the pizza place and he, and he fainted. <laughs> I thought my mother died. It was my half brother that I never knew about. All right. Okay. Uh, whatever. Does he have relationships with these people? These other children? <laughs> Who knows? Well, they're his, his his buddy or his uncle or some shit. He, like he that. barely has one with Sal. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Matt, you're on the yeah, but Sal he claims when he doesn't have a relationship. Hey now, uh, Howard. Yeah. Sal. Yes. You're an imbecile. Anyone over the age of 10 knows psychic aren't real. You know what we ought to do? We ought to. It, it, Houdini proved it years ago. Yes. I told you about that. Yeah, with the, with the whole. He had a secret word. He gave his wife. Yeah. So she'd go from psychic to psychic to medium to medium. She'd sit there and say, okay. She goes, I'm talking to your husband right now. And then they'd say, okay, what's the password? And they go, uh, what? The password that my husband gave me. Right. He said he wanted to prove whether or not they were psychics. They go, uh, well, he's not uh, t talking about that. Right. right. Somehow oh. he doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about that. But, that you see, a, a puff of smoke will appear, <laughs> and that's your husband. Hey, there are frauds in every vicinity, in every form. There are frauds, but they're also, I think this lady is the only one, because I've, I've heard you say this your whole life, that they are frauds, right. that they, they're, you. You know, they're charlatans. Uh, these why people. are you thinking again? I don't know. See, when he thinks... And that 1% overrides the 99%. That's what I'm telling Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you that it's higher than 1% when he thinks for himself. I'm trying to think, but nothing happens. Well, I'm not good at math. You're probably right. <laughs> All right, now we're, we're, all right, goodbye. Fuck you, Jim. <laughs> he went from I never said it to if I, if I said it to I haven't said it recently. <laughs> but, and I'm joking when I say it. Yeah. Wow. What is it, Sal? Quickly. Ronnie did say that to me. He did? Yeah. Uh, he came into the studio on Monday, and he said to Richard, he goes, do you want to come to headquarters Tuesday or Wednesday? Right. So I turn around, I go, how come I can't go? And he goes, because you always make fun of me. So wow. He, yeah. You're off the list. Yeah, I'm off the list. Wow. Richard doesn't always make fun of him? Richard is relentless on him. I don't know. So you're off the list. So he uses that. Yeah, he definitely uses that as a, as a pawn. Racketeering. Yeah. <laughs> wow. A pawn. Honestly, that upsets me. That's a real scumbag move, man. He could be a real piece of shit sometimes. Now, why do you wait? Why do you wait till I walk out in the room? You're so short. Sure I didn't know you walked out. Yeah, he, he thought you were there. I thought you were there. I was looking under the podium. You fuck fucking you, asshole. asshole. Now what, what did you What did you say? What did you say on Monday when he came into the studio? Yeah. He said, "Richard, Tuesday and Wednesday headquarters." I go, "Ronnie, what about me?" And you turned to me and you said, "You always make fun of me. You're not going." No, dude, you're off the list for a very good reason. You've been You've been banned from scores. Now you're going to be banned from headquarters because you're a fucking asshole when you go to these places. Totally. He, he said that I made fun of him, Howard. He's completely lying. Yeah, right. You okay. know, it's, it's such a dick thing to do, man. I mean, yeah. not only... To me, <clears throat> you're, you're taking so much advantage of the show. I, I mean, can't have you're, you're, you come... Sal, I can't have you come now. Okay? You what? want me to tell you why? Yeah. You said to me because I made Christine's fun of you. Christine's emotional friend is going with me tonight. You can't go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. You should do a comedy show. Well, yeah, you said right. Ronnie uses that as a pawn. Explain that. I don't use anything as a pawn. Well, a pawn. You know, you know, a pawn uh, is something uh, you use in a, you know, a pawn in a game. Like, you know, he's using, he's utilizing the club as a pawn to his advantage. So right. Speak. Right. Again, Did exactly. I, am I using this all wrong? <laughs> I know no, pawns are. I know pawns are, pawns are in chess. Right. Pawns are in chess. Sal, when you said Ronnie uses that as a pawn, what do you really mean? I mean, it, I mean in that he's exploiting the club. I'm not exploiting the yes, club. Yes, you're taking advantage of it for your there's own no, personal there's use. There's no expression. Use that as a pawn. Really? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking using about. Using it as a pawn, he's using it to his advantage. You know? No, 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 no. <laughs> 
Robin, what is he thinking of? I, I, I'm trying to think. Is he like? I mean, there's a, a term like, holding the club for ransom. Right. He's using that as a. But this pawn thing is wrong. When you hold something over someone's head, you're using it as a as leverage. Yeah, I mean, pawn. What? what where is? Where what did you even I know that? For? What is he going for? <laughs> I never know. heard that. Asshole. All right, listen, stupid. But asshole. anyway, <laughs> stupid <laughs> asshole. I don't think it's. I don't think it's right that Ronnie does that, and it's very embarrassing to you, Howard. It's very. Yeah, very right. Wrong. It's very I've embarrassing to him. You yes. could use you know. someone well, as a pawn. But this is not the right. Right. It's not. He's not using the right club thing. as a pawn. He's no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. He's holding it over people's heads. He's saying, "I'm not holding anything over anybody's head. They can go there. It's a place to go. That anybody can go there." Holding a pawn. There's no sign. Why, are you, no why are you going to Sal and saying you are being excluded from the party? Is there a real reason? No, because he, he's a moron. He takes yeah, everything so you, But you're going through the halls. Hold, you're no, using I'm this not. Here favors. you go with that face again. Look you're at using that face. it as favors. I'm not why making any face. Why is he such a, a mess that he can't go to a club? What do you do? <laughs> he, I don't do anything. I don't, even, I don't even want to say on the air, really. Oh, please. He's so full Would you like of me shit. to tell the reason why you were thrown out of scores? Oh, that you. <laughs> huh? Would you like me to tell you the reason? You want me to do that? God, I'm dying to know. Oh, man, I love this. Listen to me. What do you want me to do know? that? I'm, I, just tell me if you want me to what go down that, that road. Okay, let me try to get one see? word right in my life. <laughs> yeah, okay. What's that word? Entrapment. Right. That's why we can't talk about it. It was entrapment. Is this Howard. because you put your bare ass in Jason's face? While no, getting hell no. It's got nothing to do with that. Well, Sal, entrapment. Sal broke several rules by, by putting his lot, ass in Jason's he face. He broke a lot of rules. Him. Ronnie, it's fair to say you set me up completely. You, you played a great prank on me that night. Yeah, that night. I'm not okay. talking about but that, that was night. the night. No, dude. Yes, because that was the last time I was at scores. No, nah, dude. Don't even. Don't even. Uh, you want to you you start fucking throwing me into the fire? Come I'm on. I'm not throwing let's you. Go. Okay, you admitted that you said to me in the hallway that I can't go because I make fun of you. So I'm not throwing you into no, the no, fire. No, 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 no. Dude, you can't. You can't You're go. using this as a threat. Yeah, to right. Yeah. I'm right. And that's him. wrong. Yes. yes. Right. It's Whatever your you billy say. club. Right. Whatever you if say. You will. You're a real scumbag, Let's Ronnie. go down the road, man. You're breaking the cardinal rule of Come on, rule let me drive men. to you know the that? exit and let me, let me talk. You're There's crossing the line. cardinal rule of men. I don't care. You want to talk about it? I'll fucking talk about it. I got nothing to hide. Oh, you come on. About what okay, I, Ron. I, I want to know why no. you got... Th you want... I what, you want me? I, well, I took my cock out in front of the uh, the dancer, That's right? one in the room. Okay, oh. that, that was the... All right. Oh! What? What did you wait, do? Wait, All right, now wait, let me wait, explain. What's the other two reasons? What about the other two reasons? <laughs> There's more. There's two more reasons. You want to go there? I'm talking about one. Okay. <laughs> you don't want me to say one the other two. One at a time. One of the other okay. Two. I'm meeting with Dr. Abelo next week. Give me a fucking balls? break. All right. Jeez. All right. <laughs> no, so Greg Carmel's Louise? there, and he's with this hot Russian broad. And he's like, you got to see Sal's penis. Blah, blah, blah. And Ronnie masterminded this whole thing. He's like, you got to see Sal's penis. No, 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 penis. no. I wasn't there for that, dude. I heard about th that was after the fact. Okay. I, didn't, I thought you weren't on, on no. the first part. No, I had nothing, to me. No part of the that. The two of you have way too much free time. Really? You I don't need, have You need time. a different hobby. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. There goes that face again. He's getting angry. This is ridiculous. You can't, can't go through the halls threatening I'm people. Threatening this one's allowed. Anybody, this one is Jim McClure is a good it. guy. Stop it now. Stupid. I'm stop it. Because I'm, I'm doing my birthday party in a few weeks, and no. everybody's going to be invited, okay? Even Sal? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but Sal, how is it a drab? If a million people tell you to take your cock out, okay. just don't take it out. No, no that, that doesn't bother me. All right, listen. It bothers them, though. It didn't bother them. They set me up. He was saying to her that I have a very versatile penis and I could do strange things with it. And he kept begging me and the girl kept begging me. And I said, no, I'm in a club. I can't do that. I've been in trouble before. And then after a few drinks, I said, fuck it. And I took my cock out and I just showed well, her the, yeah. my, my uncircumcised that, penis. And then Ronnie comes over immediately yeah, with but, management and they're throwing me out. And no, I that said, was a joke. Right. Well, there was. The whole thing was that a joke. That part was a joke. So I, no, I, I, I didn't want to do you that. You want to go back to last year's birthday? birthday party you want to go back to that well when i threw up on the ground on at the bar yeah and you want to oh. go back you want to go back to the time before that uh when i threw up on your truck no oh. yeah well that too <laughs> i threw up all over Why the side of ronnie's truck throwing up <laughs> throwing up no 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 there, not there's better. more but i won't go into it you're you know ronnie, you know why so you know why dude you're talking on. about the atm no nah. You fucked an ATM? Well, yeah, yeah, actually, that's part of, yeah, that was part of that whole oh, deal, yes. Oh, my God, what All is right, this? If this is the new angle you want to take, No, Ronnie, I don't want it. I don't so want to. Why are you even going there? I because mean, you want to, you're, you're ready not to throwing... throw me under the fucking bus right away. No, I'm not. You, Howard wants to get to the bottom of this. You said to me, and Richard could back it up, that I talk bad about you. I can't go to the, sh the, to the club. 
right, all right. Oh, Buzzy, all right. get out of here Goodbye. now. All right, thank you. Thank you, Sal. You're welcome. He's uh, apparently, he's done so much at scores we can't talk about. Yeah, he, he's, he's mental. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, could you imagine entrapment? How, take, take your, your cock out. out. But Gary, explain to me something. How can there be a fight in the hall and you're not miking it? I have it. Give me five minutes. Oh, okay. That makes more sense to me. What are they fighting about? Do you know? Yeah. Why is Sal and Lisa fighting? It's it, you know what? It Why started, is Sal not in his his office? He was in his office. That's where oh. he started in the hallway, went to his office, came back out into the hallway. We're all sitting there listening to him screaming her, and she's screaming back. Why are they screaming? She did a news headline about Sal the other day, something about his credit oh. card. And Sal's like it's a made up story. It didn't uh. exist, and now he's demanding a retraction. And she's saying she didn't say anything wrong, and he's like, "You made me look stupid," and that's a lot of what I hear. Traction? Are you getting any traction? Did you demand the traction? No. What happened yesterday is the news didn't do their proper research, and they slandered me saying I, I, I uh, declined a credit card at a bar and left. It wasn't right. me. Wow. But they didn't clear it with me first. They didn't ask me if I was at the bar or anything else. So I was fine with it. The news went on. I didn't come in. I didn't complain. I went to Brad. I said, can you clean it up and investigate? He investigates it. They find out there's another Sal Governale, who I happen to know, by the way, who declined a credit card. So Lisa says to me in the hallway, I have it in the headlines, and I'll, I'll clear your name. With Good. This. So she comes in. She's babbling like the yenta that she is with you guys, having a fucking blast. And at the end, you go, Lisa, anything else? She goes, no. And the, the, the re retraction was in the paperwork. She was supposed to give the retraction with the news today. So when she walks out, I said, Lisa, how come you didn't put the retraction in? She said, oh, I forgot. There was no time left. Who is she to monitor the time? You she had plenty of time. Yeah, you blatantly asked her, anything else, Lisa? She goes, no. So that, that's basically it. She does these little things. She loves to get under my fucking skin. She's not the, uh, the, the, the queen, jappy, prima donna girl that you all think that she is. Or actually, she is that, too. <laughs> she is that. Why do you have to go to that? But, but because, so jappy. That, that's why I'm upset. I'm sorry. But when the, when the news slanders you and, it, you know, it was all bupkis. Get a lawyer. Get the union lawyer. Yeah, get a union lawyer. I don't need anything. <laughs> I need a divorce lawyer, not a union lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Things bad. Wow. Well, what happened yesterday? Last night, I, I got a king fucking size bed in my room because my kids have to sleep in my bed every night. It's well, like you a, know it's what like... that is. That's your wife keeping you at a distance. Yeah, I guess. Well, when we were in love. You can't fuck if the kids are in the bed. At a distance. When we were fucking, she suggested the king size bed because she did love me. That's when we got it. Yeah. But now the kids come into the bed every night. You know, well, they would come in like at 1 or 2 in the morning, you know. So it's like romp room in my bed at 3 o'clock oh, in the morning. Why do you allow this? I, I, you know, I don't mind sleeping next to my kids. So. Yeah, but you want to know something? Your kids need their space. It's not healthy for them to be in the bed with you guys. We do try to put them to bed as much as possible. Why but can't you put a kid to bed? I know a lot of parents like this. I do. You can't put the kids to bed. I, I, I do. I tuck them in with the bed. I tuck them in every night. I tell them get the fuck out of the bed and go back to their room. Go to your own bed. Don't stop being such pussies. Well, I wouldn't call my children pussies, but at one thirty in the morning when you're dead tired and I have to get up right. at 4. Say, this ain't going to fly. Right. Daddy's got to work. Lock the goddamn door. Well, you think my wife would get up because well, she gets no, up a little later. Because she wants the kids in the bed. So anyway, we're watching uh, Top Chef last night. I love that show. And uh, laying in bed, and I go over to cuddle with her in the king-size bed. Yeah. And she's like, oh, my God, we're in a king-size bed, and I feel like I have to buy a cot. <laughs> Oh, so, Jesus oh my Christ. <laughs> I was like, Gee. exactly. So, yes, Sal, you're uh, disgusting. You smell and you so, sweat. Right, right. I smell and I sweat. Yeah. If you just would have saw what the, the other sm smelly, sweaty mass that you was in love with, <laughs> I would be a pleasure. <laughs> so, uh, you think she's still in love with that guy? I think she thinks about him every day. I think it's inevitable. Yeah. I think it's inevitable. Right. And I've come to the conclusion that, uh, you know, it's. I think it's more like a brother-sister relationship with a bonus banging every every you other bang month. bang your sister. It's like fucking a nanny. Mm. It's like I got a lady. She me she so get a nanny. She's doing the laundry. And she She's takes care of your kids. Take care of my kids. What am I going to do, you know? I, uh, I looked into things, and uh, th we went over numbers, and... The lawyer kicked back and said, uh, economically, you can't leave. <laughs> so, you wow. actually went Smart. and looked? Yeah. Oh, you bet your sweet ass I did. Wow. He's got three kids. Well, you know what? I look at this whole thing and I said, why did they 
jump into this whole kid thing with both feet like that. I mean, they didn't even try it out with one. They just kept banging. No, we're not three. Puerto Rican, Robin. We need to just keep popping out kids. We, yes, you did. We, you no, got three okay. and you locked in. Got married in 96, had my first child in 99. We had three years together, and then I had my second child two years later, and two years later after that. Yeah, three but years you didn't sheer learn bliss. from the first one. You two aren't ready for all this. Were the first three years good? Robin's yeah. saying after your first kid, you should have realized that two years... I'm good at you have kids first, first kids first, yeah. first kids manageable you know yeah. second kid gets a little tough third kid I mean you might it's as well so become funny. a sociopathic murderer I mean everything changed the jump from two to three changes I everything them, make yeah. your fucking husband uh, take care of the kids there's no time for us <laughs> but what, what but what kills Lisa's back here if you want to talk to her nah who cares well, let her give her a she got her time. She got it. She said. She said. She. She. You know. She sucked up all the air time she could today. She didn't have time to put that retraction in. Lisa, I hear you were yelling at Sal in the hallway. Look, I try and get to as much stuff as I can. I'm very sensitive to how much time I'm in here. Right. When you guys go off on other tangents and talk about other things, it was enough. We have another set of headlines. I understand how Sal feels. But I also but know we have another it. set of headlines, and we right. have news uh, reports all day long where we can report that, too. But I felt that I overstayed my welcome here. I was in for so long. I appreciate that. Sal, what yeah, about but that? you've spent 20 minutes covering a fucking couch in the green room, dude. What? Come on. Wait, what are you she's talking done a about? That was a, news, that was a news story. Oh, and, I didn't do it as a news headline. Yeah. It doesn't matter, Lisa. The point is that you came out yesterday. You slandered me without verifying it first. First of all, yeah, I it wasn't I, which my I was story. Fine with. It wasn't my story. You did the headlines. So look, it's Take, like hey, I'm the messenger being shot. Take responsibility have, uh, for your actions, Lisa. You're the headline reader. First of all, was I in the headline today? I was, was not. I in wait, the headline? Let me your was first I in the headline question. today? Was I'm I in not the headline the only today? One who goes oh, I like over to the smack headlines. her. Hey. Don't get hey, physical. <laughs> I'd like to, but I'm not. Believe me, I don't do that. Uh, you shouldn't yes. even say it. No. Oh, Thank you. Uh, believe you me, that's the least it. that I'm saying. I'm thinking of a chainsaw right now and battery acid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry things aren't good at home. It has don't nothing to do with it. No, wait, I, that's... Listen. Sal, it has everything to do with it. Yeah. No, it's taking a, it out on her. I'm not taking it out... You wouldn't be saying this to mm. Steve Langford. L hold on. Howard, yesterday I was dignified about the whole thing. I right. walked, I was. And I felt badly because it wasn't my story. Like Can I said, you get his attraction right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm very attracted to you. We will do it all day, and Steve will matter. come in here and read the headline. Right. Apparently, there's another Sal, Sal Governale right. in the original story. Right, so Sal will get a retraction later in the morning. That's fine. But so there you go. Stop whining. Um. I'm no, I understand not how he feels. Oh, I can't win in this goddamn position show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not whining. I was in the hallway. Don't make phony phone calls. <laughs> First you were a shithead. Now this is a shithole. Yeah. What's going on? Sal, so you'll get your retraction. Although we all now know it's not your credit card. All right, Lisa, see if you can get a retraction going for Sal. Okay. All right, thank you. Lisa G, everybody. Man. Man. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to take a break. We've only taken one break this morning. Sal and Richard were driving um, this public uh, access show crazy again. It's very funny. Uh, this is called Talking Yankees. Oh, yeah. oh, I love that show with Man. Sal and Richard. <laughs> yeah, this guy gets just so upset with them, and they just call in every minute, and they're like the only two guys calling, and it just gets the guy all bummed out. Check it out. I would like to hear what people have to say about Mariana Rivera, Derek Jeter, David Ortiz. I think I will take a caller. You're on the air. Hey, what's up, Jonah? I'm fine. What's up? Hey, congrats on getting your show at four. Yeah, yeah. The guy moved his show to four o'clock so he wouldn't get any of these funny phone running calls. from them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was starting to get a little tired of staying up until 2 o'clock on show nights. <laughs> I sure don't blame you. I'm a little tired today. I was up late, late last night, man. I, I found worms in my stool. And... <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> They're on the air. Hey. Turn down the volume, please. I am sick and tired of these idiots calling. you got a great show. It's very informative. Love the Yankees. Love what you're doing, man. Thank you. Uh, so and I wanted to say, um, one of my favorite parts of your show is when you talk about the weather. So, yeah, well, you know, <clears throat> one of my favorite shows, uh, parts of the show, is when people actually treat it seriously. So, I, <laughs> that part sucks. These people have to get a life. So, <laughs> no, that's not. They're on the air. 
sucking worms that eat my ass. So, um, yeah, uh, there's going to be a ban on wireless callers from now on. So if you have a wireless, you're fucked. I'll give you a break. Get off my show. I'm not that stupid. As a matter of fact, I have your number, and I might call you later. Uh -oh. Anyways, um, Good. yeah, the, you know, I know who these people are, too. <laughs> I know their number, and now I know where they live. So stop calling, uh -huh. or I may pay you a visit. I don't know what Whoa. kind of time people have to uh, call in and, and have prank calls. You're on the air. Yeah, we're poking my poop. You no, know, Robert, should I say your full name on the air and then give the phone number so people can call you? Robert. I think it's just Robert. Robert. Don't test me. Meanwhile, it's Richard and Sal. It's <laughs> funny because I'm one of those guys that on the air. I beat them up. <laughs> so I only have two people calling in. Uh, and I uh, just <laughs> exactly. not many people know the time, the new time of the show. Uh, you're on the airline, too. There's blood in my poop, too. I'm you know, the fact of the matter is, and you guys need lives. No one knows the answer. You need mental help. I have your numbers. I'll call you up after the show, and I'll make sure you get a good psychiatrist. Yeah. You want me, really? I will do this. Now, I'm not going to jeopardize my show by giving your numbers out on the air. But what I do, will do, is I will make sure that you get yours. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Oh, come on. The same two people? Get off my show. You're on the air. You're on the air. Ringworms are tickling my Okay, I... Okay. Same guy! I got your number. You want me to read it out? It's 646. You want me to go further? These people probably aren't even watch. Oh, they are watching the show because I can hear the stupid feedback. So, anyways, let's get back to uh, the Yankees. Let's try you're on the air. Hello? You want to talk about Johnny Damon? Yes, what about him? Yeah, I heard Derek Jesus found worms in his... Fuck you! <laughs> you see, the thing is, you play nice with me. You know? If you don't want to call... You know, there, there's a... Computer programmers have always had this expression, and it's very accurate. It's called garbage in, garbage out. I can't have a good show without having good callers. <laughs> and what I have are bad calls. Actually, I have no callers. <laughs> no more calls. Get the hint. No more calls. That's it. Hai trăm bốn mươi triệu. Các bạn cứ đến xem xe trực tiếp chốt được thì mới thì mới làm giấy tờ chứ không nhận cọc trước mọi người nhé vì rất nhiều người bạn này chuyển ngày xưa chuyển cọc xong rồi ra lại bảo là sao nó đâm nặng thế mới vào sắt ăn vào phần sắt xi mới gò hà nắm thế nên hiện tại bây giờ thì em không nhận cọc cứ đi xem xe trực tiếp chốt được thì chốt vì vậy à, những xe nào mà đã bán thì em ghi vào phần bình luận là đã bán còn nếu em chưa ghi thì là chưa bán vì vậy ai muốn liên hệ sớm với em xin chào mọi người